Uh, let me see who's on the phone here. I think the, uh, the real crazy Alice is on the phone, actually. Alice, are you there? Hello. Hello. <coughs> Hi, Gay How. All right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I like to say something to some creature. I wish blood up on your Christmas tree for, and your mother die, ugly ass fat arty. All right. Well, if you're going to get into this now, I don't want to get into well, it. Well, I heard the motherfucker last night. I don't give a damn. You got fans. They try to love you, but you and that fat fucking all won't let us. So we have the right to speak our mind, just like y'all speak your mind toward the fans on the phone. Alice, how are your enormous you know, brown pussy, pussy lips? Ugly <laughs> you know what? We your you enormous you know curtain-like. You, know you know what? You must be brown. You must be stench-filled cunt you lips. Fucking your mama. How are they doing today? How, how are they doing? Are they enveloping well, your chair? Talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. Yes. I don't give a damn about that, boy. You know what? We're lowering your mic again because you're black. 300 pound motherfucker. Let me out. Oh, what do you weigh? Bring out my hate. Bring out my hate. He likes therapy to me. He make me bring out my hate and tell about that kill so much. This big fat motherfucker let me bring out my hate that I feel about life. And fucking Christmas. All them other fucking holidays that y'all gonna be celebrating. That's why I'm glad this bitch don't like me because I don't like his ugly ass either. I like you too much, Fred. I like you too much, Howard. I like you too much, Robin and Benjamin. I'm gonna take out on someone that I hate. Uh, hi, George. How you doing? Just great. You and I see you are, too. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Alice, grease up the window and try to jump out of it. George, George, let yes. me tell you something. George. Yes. Yes, ma'am. When you came to this show, you're going to meet Satan every time on the right side of Benji. <laughs> Shut up, King Kong. What if I say anything graphic because I hate this fat fuck that's in the jacket? Why do you hate? Huh? <laughs> Alice. Uh -huh. Alice. Go ahead, sweet thing. Well, why do you hate people? You know, because you know it, you, may, you know, it fills uh, your body up with bile. You know what, Don't George, you want to feel good? George, yeah, okay, your bile-filled okay, body. George, George, yes, yes, ma'am. Let me tell you something. Yes. God, this motherfucking nigga kite God made you in a position where you have to get fucked around by evil motherfucker like that fat two hundred pound cunt. That's why I'm hate. But I don't hate everybody. But you know, I swear to fucking God. Alice. I don't hate everybody. If I did, I wouldn't be calling hell. And I wouldn't talk to a friend. And I wouldn't say sweet things to Robin. So I am not hate of all Yes, people. you have... Uh, just that fat you have a lot of love in you. Just, just that fat nigga. You have a lot of love in you, along with a lot of government cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, your mama. Your big fat kid and mama. You have a lot of government <laughs> cheese and... <laughs> and automat meat in you. <laughs> You enormous, like you disgusting, oh, yeah, fat fuck. Way, you Stick the phone you in your win. pussy and disintegrate it. <laughs> Stick the fucking all phone right, in your All right, all right. We heard that. All right. Brown douchebag. All right, thank you. You have to be you know what I'm calling you about how? You stack of shit. You you're, mount you're still in first place, Alice, with the <laughs> football pool. You mount shit arrest. I hate faggots and I hate homosexuals. But let the homosexual keep talking. Let me tell you something. I call you for a reason. You're Robin and Fred. I'm telling you, don't take a fight with that 300 pound motherfucking bitch. Cause you know what happened? That beautiful black woman that had all those big bitches on that plane and those, and those luggage. And it will go down. Don't take that fat motherfucker on the plane with y'all. My <laughs> favorite phony plane, phone girl. call is when Sal and Richard isolated Alice's voice and made that phone call to the black guy. Oh yeah, uh, Alice, that's my favorite. Okay, go ahead, play it. I'm gonna play it, alright. Can, can you play a poem I was possessed? What? Can you play a poem when I was possessed toward that, that 300 pound faggot? Well. You got that tape? I like the way that sound. Well, hold on, let me play this okay, one. Okay. Alice, we have an hour to kill if you want to get up. So <laughs> you ugly, Mrs. Ugly Lane. Short Miss Lane. I was talking to you, bitch. What's your last name? You know what? You know, you know my last name is Gotti. What is it? Fatty! God damn, you cocksucker! Fatty? Cocksucker! Alice Fatty? No, you bitch! What a coincidence! You know, you know what? Your last name's Fatty, you're and you're enormously you're fat. Whale. You're a beast whale! No, you're a beast I whale. Play that, that thing I, I can't even find it. I'm looking for it. Oh, I can't. He can't find the tape like you can't it's find your twat. It's up in your asshole! It's up in your asshole! That's why he can't. No! Tape when I present, get that evil animal. 
Who's that one? Here it is. Maybe the Fuck him to hell! Fuck that 666 fat loser! Fuck him! Shut the fuck up! I hate him! I hate that motherfucker! I hate him! I'm gonna fuck your fat mama next! I'm mad! <laughs> thank you. All right, there you go. All right, thank you, Alice. Alice, Bravo, check, Alice check your gun. Your, gun. <laughs> your high school diploma might be in your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Have people been asking you for it? <laughs> All right, there we go. George, you're on the air, and there she is. Hey, Alice. How you doing, Howard? All right, and Hi, but Brad. Alice, Hi, Alice had a loss last week, but she's still in first place. Thank goodness. Uh, she has the most wins. You know, Bigfoot's pretty close. He had a win yeah. last week. He's five, seven, and two. But we're going by most wins. Right. Uh, so uh, Alice does take the lead still. And uh, okay. And you can hold on. I get my pen. But you could really use a win this week. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best. I always pick the good games. I just don't measure with the points. All right, here we go. Alice, what do you like this week? Oh, here I go again. I don't know why I fell. We're going so good the first six times. I don't know what happened. You're right. Don't get don't, psyched don't out. Don't get nervous. Okay. Right. Okay, New England. New England. All okay, right. Alice. Yeah. Right. Who are they playing? All right, you just get, just tell us who you're playing. Don't get into any all audience. Right. I, move I, this I wanted the congratulator, but fine, that's all right. Thank you. New England is uh, not about this, about something else. But New England is giving. Oh, I know what you're talking about. New England is giving 12 points to the Texans in New England. Ooh. And again, congratulations on your uh, New York Film Critics Award for the Last King of Scotland. Okay, can I ask you a question, Artie? Best actor. What are you oh. talking about? Arnie. Oh, he's Forrest terrible. Whitaker won the best. Was that Forrest Whitaker or you won for best oh. best oh, actor? Come on. He's, he can't help himself. He can't help himself. You started it, man. Listen. Not Alice. Uh, what the fuck he said? No, not that she he's doesn't, she doesn't you. understand it. She's, well, you know, she's bitch, of a lower intelligence. Bitch, I was going to ask you something, you big fat nasty. Wait, you were just going to say something nice. What? You cocksucker. What? You hope your mother die. Oh, oh wait a minute. You've got. Uh, like I said before, bitch. You went from zero to eighty in two seconds there. You ain't have no good holiday. You're not gonna have a good holiday. Go, you fuck with some a good person. Your bad luck will come. You get the fat in your your broken ass when you get with your money. What do you do on the holidays? Do you shave your goatee and? You big fat ugly motherfucker. All right, I'm not gonna let you guys get crazy. I want to ask the big big a question. Where do you hide the gifts in in your folds of fat? Oh. Hide on your big fat ass. That's where I hide it from you. Ask me a question. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. You're going to burn it here like your father. Ask me a question. You nerve to say your father in heaven. Hey, I got bad news for you. You don't believe in God. You're going to hell. Your father's in hell, bitch. Your what? father's not in hell. He's in hell. What's your you question? You remember that fat 300 pound cop? All right, I got to move along. Well, she had a question. You understand? You want to move along, but like I say, I don't know why he always want to fight me because I fucking don't give a damn. But the motherfucker want to go out with hate, I will go out with hate with him. I will go ask the big fat bitch of questions, but the motherfucker just like a... What is it? Shut up, cop stuff. You're going to burn in here, bitch. What's the I, question? I'm going to ask you a fucking question. One simple question. Good. You got to get like a bulldog pet boy. All right, what's the question, Alice? Okay, well, I'm gonna ask him. Okay, I'm gonna ask this 300 pound piece of shit. Does he wanna go out with hey and break his jacket chair? I'm gonna ask him, let by God be by God because in the past I, I defend how uh and the dice clay because the sweet thing is a good thing. You make millions of dollars. You don't give a shit away like a fucking fat cock on it. So I just gonna ask him some questions. Why don't you just let it go? But since he don't, okay, I, I just, I'll go to the... I'll let it go. I'm totally willing to let bygones be bygones. No, you don't. It's the end of the pool. Let's just oh, let it be bygones. You want to be intimate to the day with those okay, fat bitch? You got it. Cause I All right. Know. I'm going to thank you, Alice, and I'm going to move along. I don't want to be an enemy with it. All right, let's go to... it again. All right, New the only person who didn't win is Artie. It's a three-way first-place tie. Are you serious? Three, let me hear wait. Of course, me and Wheels, the poor guy. Alice, out there. Alice do, you know I the, was playing for. do you know the results? No, I'm too depressed to find out. What are you depressed about? Why are you depressed? Because I didn't win. You, you Bigfoot, won. and Elliot off and all won. Everybody won. Except, except Artie. Me. Except you got damn kidding me. No, except Artie. Okay. It's actually the way you wanted it to be. Well, well, it's a new year. I don't, I don't want to fight with Artie no more. All, All right. of the freakishly ugly people won. <laughs> bitch, see, bitch, 
you cock so I thought you said you stopped <laughs> fucking with me, you cock so But isn't it great? You're such a loser in the gene pool and a winner in the football pool. You know, meet your big bluff ass. See how big you are in this place. You make sure you have some room for me to get in that, in that studio if you're so goddamn ugly and fat. Just... Finish, the, fuck finish the word person. I still can't stand your fat ass, you lying motherfucker. I'm just like the devil. You Alice. won. This is how you like when you won. You won the pool. You lie, but you said. How am I lying? Fuck you, bitch. You say you gonna stop fucking with me? Okay, I'm a black woman. We don't put all bullshit with your ugly ass. Come on, fuck face. Who Bigfoot. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Bigfoot. Yeah. You I win. Ah. Uh, you won. I won. Elliot oh, won, well, who and won Alice won. Yeah, he, it was that you split the twenty-five thousand three ways. Three ways. Yeah. You that means what? you got a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Bigfoot, no. you're talking to Big Mouth, the other winner. Oh. Hey, Bigfoot. What? You're talking to Big Ass. Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, Bigfoot, when you come in through, can you go kick that ugly cocksucking faggot for me? The three hundred pound one. You got to hear this. You got to hear this. Yeah. This was based on whoever had the most wins. Alice, Elliot, and Bigfoot all had seven wins. Bigfoot yeah, had had the least amount of losses. He had two pushes and eight losses. Wow. Alice had ten losses and Elliot had ten losses. But because it was it's based all on wins, wins. Yeah. it was a three-way tie. So you each get a check, I believe, for, is it like 8500 bucks? Eighty-five thousand. Yeah, something like that. No, no, not thousand. No, I like when Bigfoot does math. Don't <laughs> wait, Big, so Bigfoot no, had the least. Math very well. Ba okay. B Bigfoot, I wait. Let me guess here. If you got twenty-five thousand dollars, three gives into twenty-five thousand eight times. It's about eight point. It's eighty. Eight point two. Eight point three. Yeah, somewhere yeah. around it's there. Eight point three 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 point three 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 three. We're not basing this on the best record. Shut up, bitch. You shut the fuck up. You blew it up the studio. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Not you, not you, Bigfoot. Too much a faggot. Bigfoot, you won over $8,000. I won over $8,000? Yeah. Wow. Now, when he comes down to New York to get it, he might just make it back to Vermont. <laughs> Alice, that ain't bad payday for you, over 8000 No, it's not, but I, was, I thought I'd lost. You want a dollar for every pound you are. Shut the fuck up. When I come up there, you better stay away from me, bitch. Bigfoot and big chins. I like you. I like big, I like cocksucker. You better stay out of my bitch. Did your mother die on the holiday? Did your mother die on the holiday, bitch? Alice, uh, what are you going to do with the money? That's out of line, Alice. You know what? what? I'm going to have a hit man and, and, and shoot the fuck out of that, that cocksucker next to you. That's out of line. Uh, Bigfoot, what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to try to get my own place in this. That's good, Bigfoot. I'm not going to spend it foolishly this time. You're going to cow it to you. Yeah, last yeah. time, what did you spend it on? I spent it on my Cadillac and some stupid broad. Right. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it, Bigfoot. I've been there. Hey, Alice, you should use the money to widen your door so you can leave your place. You are the one that used my own horn, bitch. That, that loser. That don't have Dana no more. Did you suck dicks over the holiday, bitch? Alice, widen your door with the money so you could squeeze out. I told you what I'm going to do with my 8500. I'm going to hire a hitman to kill your ass. Oh, jeez. And what are you going to do with the other 7500 you know, still, if you're not dead, I'm going to get you killed all over again. Listen to it. Listen to Bigfoot carrying on in the back. What He's having he a genuine reaction. To? He's excited. He's talking to the what young uh, girl he trapped last night. Uh, that, fucking, that fucking fat, uh, uh, Bigfoot, I can't stand that ugly thing. That 300 pound fat fuck. That he doesn't know what you're talking about, Alice. Talk about that thing, that 300 pound thing on the left side of the house. Let me hear Bigfoot. He's having a genuine happy reaction. Okay, go ahead, Bigfoot. The happiest thing that ever happened in my new year. You Bigfoot. actually, Bigfoot, had the best record. You had seven wins, eight losses, two pushes. By far, he's got the best record. This yeah. is the best thing that's happening to him in the new year. But Alice and Elliot, because they had seven wins and you had seven wins, it's a three-way push. So yeah. you guys get to split the uh, the winnings. And Artie, again proving my point, oh, he knows nothing about what football. Did Artie, what was his final record? Four and 13. A <laughs> <laughs> of shit, that's what he found. That's what he won. Hey, Alice. Uh, Bigfoot, first of all, since you won, be a good guy. Let the girl go today, just for today. Your girl? Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't know what I mean. You can't you get along. You're a woman. Bro. Alice, don't take this the wrong way. Shut, shut the fuck up. up. Shut the fuck up. You know what? Alice, Alice don't, don't take this the wrong way. Shut the fuck up, Well, congratulations. Shut up, fat soul. Congratulations to... 
What Alice, Bigfoot? you won money. What are you doing? What Bigfoot? Yes, Everybody knows my mailing address mm-hmm. down there. Yeah. Yes, Elliot. Why are you not on the air? We couldn't find we him. We can't get him. We can't get a hold of him. But I talked to him yesterday. Yeah, sometimes he's hard to get a hold of. All right. All right, but anyway... Um, I wonder what he'll do with the money. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure everyone can use it, so I thought... Th- chop up Artie. <laughs> How dare you make these Shut threats. Up, Shut up. We're mailing it to uh, no, 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 fat, no. smelly I fuck. See, I want to see your ugly ass in person, Hitler. You spoke to Elliot yesterday, Alice? Yeah, man, I was on the phone talking a few minutes, and, and I got very depressed. I didn't feel like talking anymore. And you felt like you didn't win? Yeah. What, did you think Elliot had won? Hi, sweet thing. How you doing, Robin? I'm good, and Happy New Year to you. Did Elliot know who won yesterday? No, man, Elliot was dead the same thought. We thought we fucking lost. No, it's a three-way tie. How dumb could you possibly shut be? Up, man, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I told him how it hit me. You were betting on something on national television. Shut up, whore. Shut up, whore. Now, see, you better stay the fuck away from me. Why were you depressed yesterday? Because it was another New Year's of you being enormously fat, ugly, and alone? Last night, I look at how I was staring last night. I saw your face. That's why I got depressed. All right, Alice. Thank congratulations, Bigfoot. Congratulations. Okay, you, you take care. All right. What is that? You got my mailing address? Well, hold on. The guys will get it. Oh, you want me to hold on? Yeah. No. Hold, well, hold on. Bitch no, Alice. Hang up. Shut up. No, bitch. Put I down the ham. I want to hear the hitman. I'm half Italian. I want to hear the hitman. And All when right, he comes, on. I'll double his pay to kill you. You cocksucker. All right, hold on. Let me see if I got everybody locked in here. Uh, Crazy Alice says she's living like a Jew. This is her latest voicemail she left. Oh, yeah, this is Alice. Got it. I'm just updating you about the winning. My name, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to spend my money fast like I did in the past. I'm thinking like and living like a Jew. I'm putting my money in the bank. So you want to update me about that? Go right ahead. Now, I'm looking at an old show with uh, Fred on it. The year 2006, you know, show. My Fred still looks hot. He's a good-looking guy, and I love him. I just want to let you know that I'm thinking about all you guys, even though I don't know how my relationship with Artie, but I heard him say he wants to fuck me, but my pussy too tight, Artie. You can get in that thing if you try. So take care of yourself and I'll see you later, but I'll see you. I love you, Fred. Bye. Crazy Alice saying that That's she's living like right. a Jew. Oh. I, I think don't I can, know what that means. I think I can get her. To put money in the bank like a Jew. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Crazy Alice, you're on the air. Hello? Hello. Fuck what that nigga Coon said. <laughs> <laughs> now, why do you say that? Are you hear this? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you trying... He's a piece of shit. Why is he a piece of shit? Why are you so upset? Nigga blood on you, motherfucker. What is that? You, you do have nigga blood on you, motherfucker. So, yeah. so, so this is this is great because yeah. this is this is the most hurtful subject in the black community. Right. Well, they they feel like if I come on and talk about this, yeah. black people feel like you're exposing something about them. They, Don't talk about this. You hear this? You remember when Muhammad Ali got on television and called George Foreman a fucking gorilla? Yes, right. oh, please. I loved Ali until that. I was I was like I was like I was, he was so out glad. Of line. He was wrong to but do it. But yet the nation of Islam. Invited him into the and made him an honorary member. Alice, what does that say about the nation? Is it? You're a loser. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there it is. You see, now if I get shot, you understand why. Because what black it? people do not like this. <laughs> what is that, Alice? I will fuck your fat mama next. All right, thank you, Alice. Fuck you cocksucker. All right. I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right. God speak. Uh, you see? That's a tape, Robin. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, that was a real? <laughs> no, that's not real. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's... <laughs> Crazy Alice seems to have the same thought as that guy on the phone, but she at least is a little more interesting when she talks. Richard, 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 what is wrong with your fucking gay boss? He's so concerned about his lesbian girlfriend got a crush on some fucking broad. Well, it was the table was turned... Wouldn't it be right for her to get jailed a gay Howard when he got a crush on Brad Pitt? Who tell Howard to grow up? And when it comes to Artie, you want to box, put on your girl fat, so I never box with a 300-pound woman. But I'll try with you, Artie. So tell Howard to lighten up. His girlfriend is a lesbian. He's engaged with a lesbian. And she engaged with a gay guy. Well, fuck Brad Pitt. 
Gay Howard, you had a chance to fuck Brad Pitt. You will, Gay Howard. All right. Uh, Crazy Alice says that I want to fuck mm. Brad Pitt. <laughs> so you two are a perfect doesn't? match. Yeah, well, Brad Pitt, that's quite a catch. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, well, I'd be see why it's hard to get Brad Pitt on the show, not the Showtime woman. Yeah, I want to see Howard blush. It would be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy Alice. Yeah, let's put Brad Pitt on a catch next to me and see how quick I fuck him. Uh, Crazy Alice also just calling in, in general just on fire yesterday about me and Beth and if we had a baby. And... Oh, yeah, Richard. I was listening to uh, Eric, the actor. He was saying that uh, how and his girlfriend going to have a deformed baby. I believe him. I haven't seen his damn girl. I don't know what they look like, but them two have a baby. Gay Howard and that girlfriend he got now, that baby going to be one weird-looking motherfucker. I believe that they will turn off the phone because Gay Howard not a normal looking fucker. He look weird. Calling me crazy. Look in the mirror, bitch. You take care of two Richards, Baba Boys, Fred, and Will, and fuck Gay Howard. He ain't gonna fucking have no lace up that long. Go fuck up the car. Oh yeah, wrap up where your girlfriend be still single. And being a gay cocksucker, you know what it's like to be a nigga Howard. And that Joan Rivers, that rubber-faced babble bitch, she's been smoking cigarettes since day one from her pussy hole. So fuck everybody who called me crazy, Alice. Fuck you too, Lesham and Lisa G. <laughs> wow. That's like a roll call. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine talking like that for five minutes and then going, fuck everyone who calls me crazy. <laughs> I love it. She's a whack packer of the first degree. She's the best. Hey. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Crazy Alice, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, hi Gay Howard. Hello. Gay Okay, I just want to say hello to um, George, to Kay. Hi, how are you? Trying to hang in there. And, um, you're sounding well. Well, I'm trying to. I just want to talk to Artie for a minute. Sure, go ahead. Artie, oh, yeah. are you really going to lead the show? No, what, who told you that? Well, you know, rumors going around that, you know, you got a gig out here in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no gig out in Hollywood. Oh, it's not because not right now, no. Okay, I'm I'm just concerned about it. you know what I was telling you that uh Hollywood got a lot of fans all over the world. You know how they uh, they are vicious and they will rip your flesh off. <laughs> <laughs> are you one of them? No, no. I, I you know last time we talked, I'm getting to a point. I don't care how you take it, but I'm getting to like you. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm getting to like you. Alice, don't you worry. I'm in Los Angeles and Hollywood. Yeah. And I, you know, Ho Hollywood welcome. is evil. <laughs> no, it is. Now, Hollywood is really evil. The studio, when your plate is hot, they're going to take you while it's mm. hot. Well, once that plate gets cold, they're going to throw your ass on the side. I'm just telling you. Like, so, if, Alice, are you trying to say to Artie look that... At Don, look at Don John. Look at some of the act, actors from, uh, from Hill Street Blue. They went into movies. And then they made floppy movies, and they, they wanted to come back. They went back to television. I don't want that to happen to you, Artie. You're afraid that if Artie does leave, he could get in a series of flops. Yes, and... he can. Yes, he can. Cause he's sitting on he's sitting on a hot seat right now. He's like a, a, a he like gold right now. Right. You don't want to turn to no 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 piece of glass. Cause uh, how? Let's be honest. <laughs> the whole world has got satellite by now. You got about six to six million fans right now, right? Right. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot. And it's gonna keep growing. Absolutely, every day. How they, how they, 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 they look, uh, and it does go apart because Artie didn't stay on the stage real long. Well, maybe Alice that's knows something. What do you think, Artie? What do you think of what? Leave the show. What do you think of what? I think she's making a lot of sense. She is. She. He says you're making a lot of sense. Oh. Well, you know what, Artie? I'm going to be honest with you. Jackie, wherever you are, don't be mad at me. I'm glad you be sitting in that chair now. Jackie, don't get mad now. But I like Artie. Oh, is Jackie listening? I don't know. Alice is so good to hear you. Even if he's so good to hear you sing the praise for Artie. You know, I'm Artie. in the bathroom like I always do. I'm, I'm trying to respect my neighbor. I'm in the bathroom with the toilet. So, <laughs> the can't scream at me. So, well, Jackie's getting mad right now. That's all I want to tell you, Artie. I'm going to I thank you, Alice, and thanks for the call. Thank you. All right, that's Crazy Alice checking in and saying Artie's making a mistake by even thinking about leaving the show. Yes, Alice. What is it? Alice? Right. What is it? Did you cut 
me off, fool. <laughs> you were done. Did you hang up? He let me finish. I wasn't telling Art. He's, he's a very handsome guy. No, it was enough. You 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 had you had made the point. Fuck up, no, fool. you made the point. Fuck up. I, 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 all right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, my uh, anything else, Steve? I think I got a shot of banging Alice. <laughs> it's the familiar Alice back in here. Yes, angry Alice. Come on, joking. Uh, let's go to Alice, who is on the phone. Alice? Fucking say and kiss my ass, bitch. Why? No, you leave. Uh, you leave all your... All right, let's go back to John Hine. John, you're on the air. And John Hine has the... You know who's with you, though? Who, uh... Who is against the Sanjaya movie? Crazy Alice joins Eric the Midget. Oh. But, but she doesn't like Eric the Midget. Now, listen to this message, Eric. Hi, Rich. I forgot to ask, tell you about American Item. I wish that little, uh, black woman win the shower. used to be a background of a professional group of that other big black woman. But I used to respect Eric the actor. Now he's Eric the Midget. But he got something against black women. Why can't he vote for one of those? And I definitely don't want that fag, to, that sand nigger to win, that little teenager faggot to win. And I guess how, Gay Howard got that in his head. He wants to fuck that motherfucking ass. It's like he got a crush on Brad Pitt. I wish that homosexual teenager cocksucker, Lou, that sand nigger with that pretty hair on his head and that black skin. So how, Gay Howard, you're not going to win. Your fag not gonna win, okay? Fuck homosexual. They rub me the wrong way just like you, kike. Stereotype like you. Talking about rub off black. Well, rub off fucking Jews' relationship, okay? They're skin and they race. I'm a female Hitler sometime. All right, Alice wow. Uh, wow. agrees with you. She does not like Sanjaya. This is kind of good. Crazy Alice. So, you know, she calls a voicemail message in. She's all calm and everything, and you can hear her. Like, I'm a boy. I hope you had a good weekend, because I did start off with Steve from the newsroom. He came and visited me Friday. We had a good time. He met my neighbors across the hall from me. They're from New York City, too, from Bronx, New York, in my hometown. I want to know, can you do me a favor? You had a show on Bigfoot. Him. So you see, crazy yeah, Alice, nice. you know, Steve Langford, great guy. And then I guess Steve said something in one of his reports about Alice that she didn't like. And then she gets right back into, like, hating Steve now. Oh. You know, another thing, Baba Boy, that big mouth gorilla face, Stephen Langford, he shouldn't have told me the people that I got a fucking gun in my house. Now, 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 yeah, in his report, he said she had a gun in her house. Uh, uh, yes, he did. I yeah. remember that. Be another threat to me not leaving my house because his big stinking mouth. That's only between me and him. And that's it. And then he used Artie's name, mix up with that 38. Don't he ever do that again. Artie's a good person. I wouldn't do no harm to him, but I do some harm to motherfuckers, ignorant motherfucker like him and those on the street who fuck me like the fix the nigger. Yeah, I said nigger, nigger, nigger. Cause I get mistreated by bad blacks as well. They know nationality sticks. So he should never say it there. He should never brought that on air about my piece. That stupid old goat. And don't you ever threat put an artist name mix of my thing again. I wouldn't harm that man. That man's a good person to me. We made it off, you fucking billable face faggot, Stephen Langford. Wow. Where's Artie? No clue. What? No clue. And Crazy Alice left a weird message, too, i got to play you. She left, like, a... She started talking like a hillbilly. Yeah. It, it, here, I'll play Crazy Alice now, is a hillbilly. Then I'll take a break. We'll wait. It's just weird. I'm not sure what's going on with her. Oh, yeah, Sal, can you do me a favor? Can you send me a copy of that music when that hillbilly say he don't like kike swaps and stuff like that and he wears nigger cowboy hat? I want to know, can you get me a copy of that, please, for you playing? I appreciate if you can get me a copy of that nigger record. I really love to see what that sounds like every time I want to play it. You know the one that plays with the nigger cowboy hat? I want that. I read my Nazi cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know that weirdo guy who sent a nigger hating hat? Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a voicemail that came in from Crazy Alice. I'm just getting rid of some of these things. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. Maybe you do. She says the spooks are coming, and then she says the gooks. I don't mm -hmm. know if she's angry with black people or Chinese people. Right. I don't know what, what the... F she's in some kind of racist rampage, okay. but... I Richard I heard my little Sal say it's some blacks that live in his neighborhood. 
Well, I guess on the tail you fell. The gooks are coming. The spooks are coming to a house near you. More gooks are coming in your neighborhood. You see one gook, you'll see a bunch of other spooks want to come near you as they right next to you. I lock up your house, they come in. They go steal from you. <laughs> what? I don't know why she's calling gooks, you know, inter she sounds like she's using gooks and spooks interchangeably. Yeah, but there's a big difference yeah. in terms of racist, racist humor. <laughs> uh, Matt. Hi, Rich. I'm hearing the biggest argument I ever heard on the show. And I feel that gay powers should stay the fuck out of people's personal life. And when it comes to that fat Robin, Robin, look at him. You stay the fuck out of it. You don't got no place to fuck with some other personal life. And you're a lesbian. So stay out of it. Start game up on that man. Don't really want to leave. Leave, Artie. Leave if you want to. Leave. Yeah, one thing about Artie, he should be thankful what he got. He could end up like me, a poor black one with no family, no relationship, nowhere to go, and no money, no friends, and no fucking freedom in the street by spicks and niggas and freak who make fun of me. Wow. So, artists, you ought to be thankful you wasn't born a black female and a skinny chicken neck Jew. You're, you're a nice looking motherfucker. <sighs> oh, oh boy, she yeah. turned her tune. Yeah, you could wind up like her, a poor <laughs> black woman. The Alice called in and yelled about you and me. Again? Yeah, she's really got it in for you. What is the problem? What are we doing so wrong now? She's angry with you probably because you're getting all this special treatment and um, losing weight and getting healthy. And fuck she, up! That, that, she doesn't like that. And me, she just doesn't like. <laughs> I'm gay Howard. <laughs> but you got the worst of it, honestly. Oh, well. Oh, I'm yeah, not. Richard, when it comes to Black Robin... That nigger got money to spend, and she's a lazy, black, big titty fat coon. She's a fucked up, motherfucking dog skin, African looking, motherfucking freak. I don't care if you don't like me, Robert. I don't kiss no nigger ass or no one else ass, because I feel evil because a black motherfucker looks like you ruined my life. So you can take whatever you want. When it comes to that Donald T Taylor, I hope you find here, you faggot. Tell him to you, you suck, Ellis Preston, big bunny, I'm sick, I hate homosexuals. I wish I could wipe y'all AIDS, cocksucker, shit pusher, off the planet, or you fucking cocksucker, homosexual. See you later, Fred and Richard. <laughs> I thought it was me. I, there's another one with me, I think, somewhere. i got to find it. <laughs> later, yeah, he, I didn't get it that time, but she didn't like the gay dude yesterday. Apparently not. But doesn't she claim she's gay? Yeah. She said she's Sometimes. Gay. I don't. It's very confusing with her. All right. Well, she said shit pusher. I think she means gay guys. Oh, it's all right to be a lesbian? I but she <laughs> sometimes calls me a lesbian. I don't think she means it kindly. Right. Well, uh, look, you know what, Robin? You're right. There's nothing logical about it. <laughs> I told this story. Let's, hey, look who's uh, calling in. Crazy Alice. Good to speak to you. Oh, haven't, hi. Haven't spoken to Alice in a long time. Live and in person? Yep. No, I'm dead, Robin. Well, you haven't called in a while. Yeah, you, I'm alive. Alive on air. I'm, not, I'm talking from the grave. I'm Sometimes we play alive. your uh, yeah, voicemail, yeah, my dear. Yeah, what do you That's think, Robin? You think she's dead? Yeah, I think she's calling from the <laughs> grave. Oh, there's the ghost of Crazy <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alice, uh, what is uh, on your mind? Yeah, I want to talk to Eric, the actor. Eric, the actor, yes. Yeah, can you get him online if you can? No, he is no longer a part of the show. He will not call in anymore. This well, is, this is I, the word I've gotten. Uh, Eric the Midget will not call in anymore. Why, okay, why in the fuck he stopped calling? Because he, he, he stood for that, that child killer? Yeah, yes. yeah, he's upset that uh, I made fun of Chris Benoit, who killed his seven-year-old boy. Now do you hear that he probably well, he put him in a chokehold? Chris, Chris, not, where he at, he's going to wish somebody to love him, because he's going to burn, he's frying in hell right now. You bet. I mean, he... He killed his wife and then killed a seven-year-old boy. Yeah, and and we were thinking, well, maybe he did it with a pillow or something. Apparently, he, cho he put a chokehold on him. Wait, Alice, here is Eric the Midget. Oh, oh good. Eric, go ahead and say what you have to say. 
I'm done. I know I've said that in the past, but this is absolutely the last straw. the real one. That's not the lie. I don't want to hear no fucking tape. Shut the fuck up. No, don't say that. You don't. That, that's a tape. Come on. Fuck you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shut your fat mouth. Let me tell you something. How I rather fuck your your girlfriend and your fucking sister. You dumb fuck. No, that's what you are, Howard. Me. Shut your fat mouth. You wanna come and uh, shut it up for me, Howard? What did I do? Well, uh, you playing that tape? That ain't no song. tape. That's an Eric. I've been with this this show long as no one's gone. Oh, hi, friend. Hey, Eric, if you're uh, live on the phone, say shut the fuck up to prove that you're on live. No. Shut the fuck up. See? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alice. Is Fred down today? Yes, yes I am, honey. Well, speak up, brother. I love you. Thank you very much, Alice. How Alice? you doing, Artie? What's up, Alice? I love you. I love you, Alice too. loves Artie now? Okay. Yeah, she's loving they him for a while. They loving him for up. past three calls. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I want to tell you real quick, because I'm getting ready to get sleeper again. Uh, you know the old take you be playing on air with me and Artie when we was arguing back then? Yes. You don't take that serious, do you, Artie? No, no, of good, course not. Good. When you coming to Hollywood? <laughs> uh, you know, hopefully I'm doing a gig out there in like a couple of months. Okay, did you see a late picture of me with the Yankee t-shirt, the pretty flower in my head? Very nice, very oh, nice. so sweet. Well, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> Boy, this is the nice yeah. Alice. Yeah, of course it is, because they're on. We're double, we're just doing that for the show. I really like Artie. Somebody must be on meds. Wow. No, don't say that. Don't say that. That man ain't on nothing but his, for his soul. Okay, so you can't get that little, little guy out of the No, he is done with the show. Are you sure? He always says he's going to quit. Yeah, he says he quit. I would love for you to have a conversation with right now and talk some sense into him, but, uh, okay. you know, uh, you know he's done. You you know where you can call him like you, uh, Bobby Bowie? Call him and get him on nah, air. We're done with him. He, oh, he, it's up God. to him to call in first. Okay, well, you, well, if you hear this, Eric, I love you, but you can't stop a child killer. You right. Uh, You'll burn in hell with him just as well. So that's all Wait, this is the real man. Eric now. Eric is on the phone. For real? Yeah, I thought you were done with the show, Eric. What the fuck was the point of hanging up on me? I didn't hang up on you. You abruptly hung up on me. No, I didn't. You hung up on me. You rude ass piece of shit. Well, talk to Alice and don't talk to me. No, no, that's a machine. Come on, I won't speak to the live one. You annoying sack of shit. I'm one of his favorite guests on the show. Fuck you. So he ought to know. Well, he ought to know. You know, he's an ass and he should know. Shut up for a minute. He wouldn't take you seriously. Shut your fat mouth. He shouldn't take this seriously. Shut the fuck up. Actually, Alice, you're a tape, and Eric's a uh, real. Okay, no one needs to set this idiot straight. With those tapes, house, I fuck with those tapes. If you can't get them on air, I can That's why I called in to say hello to you guys. Shut your fuck mouth. <laughs> Okay. All right. Bye, Alice. Thank you. Whatever. I don't think so. Stay out. Bye. On a dick, okay? Bye. All right. I'll go suck on a dick. There you go. That's the better one. She's all angry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Al Crazy Alice is on. Hi, Crazy uh, Alice. How you doing? How are you? I'm trying to hang in there. It's nice hearing your sweet voice. Oh, how sweet of you. Boy, uh, you're in a good mood. Are you on medication? Are you? Uh, I mean, seriously, I've never heard you so happy. Well, I'm just glad to hear from you guys. I'll be coming up to see you before the end of this year. Is that wow. right? But yeah, sweet thing. You better find that anger when you come see us. I will. <laughs> I promise you, I'm going to be as wicked as you want me to be. How you doing, Fred? Everything <laughs> Everything here is good, Alice. Hold it. Hold it, Hal. I'm sorry. Yes. How you do, Fred? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you, you for asking. Sweet thing, you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, George. How are you, darling? Oh, you sound so sweet. And you and Brad got back together, y'all. Oh, thank song? God, yes. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, I, I, man. You did, and it was you, so unfair, don't you think? Just, Brad, it just part of the show, child. It don't was you, a game, wasn't it? That's it. That's right, Alice. Was... being sexual towards Sal? Absolutely it's not. <laughs> How are you feeling about Artie these days? Oh, my Artie, he's sweet. Yeah, I want to talk to Artie anyway. Artie. <laughs> Yes, Alice. Uh, uh, it, uh, the Yankees game this is if it's over by the time I come up there in October. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully they'll be playing in the playoffs of the World Series. 
how much would it cost to get tickets for that game? Because I, I almost can't afford it. I like to go. It's about 2000 a game. Oh, I can't afford it, Dan. I can't afford well, it. Well, we'll get you tickets. You want to go? Oh, you can. And we should go together. Why don't you take her? Yeah, take her. Would if you this... actually would you actually take her? Oh, of course. Even oh, after of course that, he would. That would be fun. Even after all the shit you guys have been through? Oh, that's in the past. I think as an official sort of peace treaty, I would take it to a Yankee game. Would you like that, Alan? Oh, yeah! Whoa. Oh. All right, you got it. Well, if you're if they're still playing when you get here. Okay. All right, we're in. It's been years. Thank you, Artie. God bravo, bravo. Do you know the exact date you're coming here? Okay, on the 22nd, I'm going to be on air on oh, the show. Oh, well, well, they have to be in the World Series, that means. So uh -huh. you're going to a World Series game instead of one of my cousins. I'm sure they'll be happy. Oh. <laughs> oh, you, you're really going to take her if they're in the World Series? I can guarantee I can get her a ticket for the game. Oh, that's great. And I think your backstory just strengthens this bond that much more. Yeah, uh -huh. I think uh, we'd have to sit together. I'll let my well, tickets will be for my family and uh, but uh, me and uh, me and Alice will sit together in like the bleachers. <laughs> well, Alice, it sounds like a, a love connection, sort of a date kind of oh, situation. No, no, please, uh, that's what I want to tell you, uh, Howard. Please, I don't consider Artie as a love. I consider him as a brother. Well, oh, great. Like every woman there is. Great. Uh, oh, no, you no, you no, drop no, it too. No, no, grand on her, now she didn't even want to fuck you. Okay, Artie. Artie. <laughs> yeah. Go, go back. I'm attracted to you, but I have to be honest. You remember that when y'all said that Alice could be gay? Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I don't consider men sexual. I see them as a brother or someone can uh, protect me from bullies and be our friends. But when it comes to a woman, I really, I'm kind of attracted to them more. Well, we can get you abroad at the game. No! I don't, want, I don't want nobody there but me and you. I don't want to share nobody with you at the game. Nobody. Well, Alice, you've okay. uh, gotten a dream come true. Let's Thank hope the Yankees you. get into the World Series. I'd love to film that date. Okay. But is that Alice coming out of the closet? Yes, it is. I yes, believe. it is. I believe Alice well, is trying to say that she is a lesbian. She's a lesbian. Well, you know what? Uh, Robin. Yes. I won't have sex with him, but I am attracted to him. I. I can look at a naked woman, but I can't look at a naked guy. Oh. Okay, but I won't have sex with them. You won't have sex with women? No. Well, why not? Why not go ahead with it? Oh, no. I'm not a sexual person. You know me. Howard, you've been knowing me for years. On the phone. I'm not a sexual person. All right. Well, there you go. Alice, okay. we look forward to seeing okay, you in October. Dear. And okay, you are you so take wonderful. Care. Right, take care, baby. I love you guys. Love you, too. What? All right. I like it when she's crazy. Oh, I like her when she's happy. She well, we know you do. I, I got an crazy. audience. She sounds crazy. <laughs> she sounds. She does sound crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, we got to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, there is whack pack feedback. We played it yesterday. Yeah, it made my heart hurt. Listening Many to people. Really? Some of it. Yeah. Oh my, my goodness. My, this you is, can't let these people affect you. These are very. Are those your normal listeners? <laughs> yes. Here we go. So it hurt my There's heart. Normal about that. I don't want to give them any well, inspiration. One of them is a Ku Klux Klansman. So you yeah, he sounded. All right, here we go. Bad. Whack Pack Feedback. Russell Simmons calls Howard Stern a nigger, and the Whack Pack gives their opinions. Yeah, Russell Simmons, you jigaboo, ugly motherfucker. Who can you call uh, call Gay Howard nigger, you fucking ugly monkey? Get back in the cage and suck on a banana, cock sucker. <laughs> Wait, now that's, cra now that's, now that's, whoa. that's crazy, Alice. Yeah. Okay. She's a big fan of the show, so you can't ever call me a bad thing without her getting worked that's up. That's okay. She's I mean, even though uh, she gets upset with Howard, you can't right. call him. She's, she's an old Jewish woman. <laughs> <laughs> And now here is the guy from the Ku Klux Klan. He weighed in. This is Daniel Carver. He is a he is a Grand Flegel or some kind of something. Well, white people, this is Daniel Carver. <clears throat> Russell Simmons trying to abolish the word nigger, but then turned around and called Howard Stern a nigger. Oh. I, I don't understand these hypocritical niggers. So the word will never be done away with. The niggers call white people niggers. They call us honkies, crackers, whatever. And I'm going to always call them niggers because that's what they are, niggers. They need all going back to Africa. That's what they need to do. Oh. Leave white people alone. Be niggers like they're supposed to be. But he's a joke, right? <laughs> he's not a serious. No, is he one of your he's listeners? He's a serious clansman. We well, need to I educate. He's not one of my listeners. I didn't say he was a uh, joke. I don't think people will Klansman. tolerate racism. I mean, they're not interested <laughs> in. No, I'm seriously. I'm oh, seriously. I don't seriously think. Agree I mean, with language. You, but he's still I don't like. I don't. Be who he is. Now, here's I don't mind cursed words, but cursed 
ideas. Mm -hmm. Here's some more. Uh, you know what I mean? That's well, that's the Ku Klux Klan. They're ready right. to string I mean, everyone up. You have to understand up. that that's out there. I didn't yeah. know. I thought, that, well, I'm sorry. Retard. This I... is Wendy the retard, by the way. <laughs> now, we're getting the retarded uh. point of view. I think you should not say the N-word on the radio. You can say, say the uh, N-word at home or with your family with no black people around, but oh on the radio, God. you shouldn't say that. So she basically has your view. This is Blue Iris, and I'm really pissed off. That's Blue Iris. She is a an, 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 an old woman who is a porn a star. A senior porn star. Simmons called Howard a nigger. Mm. And nigger can use, is used by both races. The word nigger. What do you find? Are these people and, that, your inspiration? Are these no, the people no, that... No, no, no. Them. But <laughs> too bad that he has such bad connotations with it. You shouldn't be mean about the word nigger. You should only use it when you're getting fucked. Oh. <laughs> now you pissed off Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice you pissed off. And, and you know Beetlejuice, of course, everyone does. Listen. Yes. He call him a nigger? Tom, I call him a fucking nigger. I slapped his ass so damn hard he looked like a goddamn girl. Fuck that gay bastard. <laughs> there you go. We beetled you. All right. Well, you know, let's you move can't on. Do that. Move I on. think you know, but I, I'm uh, crazy. Alice is on the phone to talk to you. Let's let's uh -oh. finally get this out. Okay, G Alice, go ahead and speak to She's one of your inspirations. Russell Alice, Simmons, right? whose new book, of course, is she inspires us. Do you twelve laws to access the power in you to achieve happiness and success? It's do you really now. think reading this book will help people? Uh, you know, it's just restating the obvious. In other words. What's in, you know, all the prophets said the same the things audience. over and over again, and people just sometimes can't digest it, so uh -huh. you have to keep, keep restating it, and, and in a way that maybe people can take it in. That's I'll tell you it. why your ex-wife and you divorced. Fuck what that nigga Coon said. Wait, Wait a oh minute. Alice. Is that Alice? Did you say hello first? Alice. Is that what? Alice? Yeah. What is that? He's lying, nigga. Oh why? Why is he lying? That nigga blowing you, motherfucker. He didn't deny that. He's what do you say? Nigga. I can't hear what? Nigga what? Nigga. nigga, please. Uh, what do you say? You big face gorillas. Oh, that's not nice. See, that's what I mean about you can't use the word. How, use the word. Well, let's hear what so she has to say for a second. People what? listening, what? Well, Alice, we didn't hear you. What? And you gotta you know what? I'm educate. Gonna where, where I take a shit. Uh, <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> um, you nigga blowing you, motherfucker. Well, to tell us what you want to say to Russell, really. He's a piece of shit. Oh. oh. Bitch. All right, okay. You I'm sorry. Okay, all right. You fucking. Let's not fuck with Alice. Turn that mic off. All right, yeah. That's not even That's not right, right. she got to say. She's not funny today. That's not funny. <laughs> you go, and finally today, is that what's happening, Robin? That's what's happening. Crazy Alice left a message, <laughs> and here it is. She's angry with you now, Robin. What did I do? Because you're trying to feel good. I say, I heard Eric the actor on Al last week. I told that little motherfucker, we're crack. The motherfucker is hooked to the show. But when it comes to that crazy nigga Robin, that lesbian, that bitch ain't going to be no healthier than me and you put together. I think you're being stupid. That's just like a nigga. They get a lot of money and do it, and do it foolish while I'm living in hell with the crazy spicks and the junkie. That's why I said I'm, I'm drunk of rich people. Because they would get where they don't have to deal with shit like I'm dealing with. And I'll see you soon, Sam. And take care. All right, there it is, Robin. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops, there it is. Sorry, I'm having a good life. Yeah, well, you know something? I'm glad you're having a good life. You deserve it. <laughs> and, uh, well, you can't have everyone be a fan, Robin. No, she's a fan. I just think she's terribly jealous. Jealous That's of you, yes. Uh, finally, I wasn't going to take this call, but I will. It is Barry Bond's ex-wife. Oh, wants, son? Yes, who wants really? to speak to you. I tried to get in touch with her. All right, go ahead. You're on the air. Fuck that bitch! Oh, <laughs> Wow. Well, Mrs. Bonds, I'm going to ask you very nicely to say things in a, in a calm manner. Fuck you, cocksucker. All right, listen. Wow. Listen to me. Listen. If you're going to make an intelligent comment, go ahead and make it. I'm mad. You're mad. Okay, what do you... What do you... I think, I think you're a dick. I think you're a dick. I don't think you got a dick. I don't even think you got a dick, bitch. Who are you talking to, Howard? Fuck your goddamn no, sister. Tell that bitch to come in and do it. I can fuck her. 
All right, uh, there it is, an exclusive. Wow. Wow, she's mad at you. Wow, she's very angry. <laughs> Might not have been her. Uh, all right, Kimberly Bell, thank you. Uh, let's uh, let's say hi to Crazy Alice. She's in. She very. She uh, her last appearance, if you can believe it, was on. In the year 2000. Yeah, I was not uh, yeah. on, the on the show as a no. regular, no. Seven years ago, I saw Alice. Oh, look how beautiful. <laughs> she looks beautiful. Have you ever seen her, Arnie? On tape, yeah. On tape, yeah. You see, hey. She's in saying hello to her beloved Fred. She go. likes Fred. She I like her. Hi, Alice. She's really nice. How are you? Hey, there she, is. Hey. she looks good. She you looks got the old-fashioned uh, vinyl uh, spinster yeah. now. Right, right. Alice. I will hug you, but you're too far. All right. How are you, Alice? Uh, how are you doing? Hi, hi, how baby. you doing? How you doing? Okay. You, uh, okay. You look good. You look like you lost weight, maybe. I have. You look you Yeah, look I really have. I, I used to be out the hill. You was right. I was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not Lindsay yeah. Lohan yet, but you're nice and thin. I, I, like I that. wish I would. I got to get rid of this bed like you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you have... look good. You look good, Alice. Thank you. Thank you. And how are things? You came into town. We put you up at a hotel. Everything all right with that? Well, until I got to the hotel. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to spit this out. I'm sorry. What do you got in there, Ben? Here, here. So spit it on, Ben. Spit it on Artie. Spit it on Artie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Artie. What do you got in your mouth? I just wanted to... So you text... Yeah, I've got my bro my mouth kind of dry. You need some water? You want some water? No, I don't want to put no shit in my... Uh, how you doing? Hi, I'm fine. You're so pretty. Well, thank you. You look beautiful. Oh, you kidding? No, you look great. I look like a run-down truck. Oh, stop oh. it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alice, mm -hmm. you, you came to Manhattan when? When did you get here? Yes, I see. Yesterday? Right. Yesterday morning. Yeah. The ride went so smooth. Yeah, you took an from, airplane. Yeah, the, everything till I got to that fucking hotel. What happened? <laughs> what went wrong? Oh no. Uh, they 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 didn't have all this shit together with the reservation. I had to sit in the lobby almost an hour, and I was tired, run out. You run know, down. I go crazy from that. Yeah. I went to a vacation a couple of months ago. Right. And I went to the hotel, and they tell me they, they don't, don't have a room. They yet. don't have the room That's ready. That's what I'm saying. And they say, they say uh, <sighs> wait two hours, go have some lunch. Yeah. I go, well, my, I ate lunch already. I want to go to my room. I want to unpack. I want to get my day going. What are yeah. you doing to me? I they got to get that shit together. Right. I, I mean, you born the same month and got the same soul. That's right, baby. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. And you're feeling okay about yourself. I worry about uh, you sometimes. Yeah, uh, well. I have some problems, yeah. but the most blessing thing in my life is being with good health. I got all parts of my body, you know, parts. Of both how, how is it where you live? Everything. Horrible? Oh, shit. Don't start me on that. <laughs> I, gay, how do you stop calling me crazy? <laughs> all right. Because I am an angry person. Okay, I have some, I know, I'm not ashamed to say I have some disability. But that don't make you crazy. Cause what kind of disability? What disability? Kind of, you know, in a, uh, I'm at the borderline. Mentally, uh, you mean? No, you big dummy. What are you uh, talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of like, oh, like no, 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 I, I wasn't making a I'm joke. I'm serious. Uh, uh, like a learning disability, something like that. I'm not oh. dyslexia or something like that? Uh, no, 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 Artie. Uh, would you, be, you know, would like you? example, if you read a big word, I can't. Oh, that okay. kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Would you prefer to be angry? You know what? Would you prefer to be angry, Alice? Yeah, let me tell you something about this <laughs> fucking wall. This is not Berlin. I want to see Ord. I want to see Bandit. I want to see my sweet, sweet friend. Where the fuck did he go? He's gone. Uh, He's uh, gone. See? He, left. he got up. Uh, <laughs> uh, he put the wall up. You little shit. <laughs> Where you go? Why, why are you, for real? Why Fred is scared of you. Oh, no. He said to me, I got to get out of the room. She got the that. She get, he going to use the bathroom. He got to take a piss. Howard doesn't like seeing us while he's working. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like to kind of section me up. But off. look at these faces. <laughs> yeah, you look at them. Look at this cute little face. I'm going to put my hand in your face. Look at that cute little face. Look at that nice looking face. And Fred, he's handsome. Why do you want to hide those people? Well, we, you want to look at handsome men while he's doing I, I only want to well, see Robin. <laughs> Well, I'm, fuck I'm, that, that, my friend. Up, yeah, I was talking about you. I said, you little shit, what are you walking out on my interview? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to go squirt. I want to make I, I sure told I you had pay to pay attention. On, yeah, I told you I had to go and piss. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alice, focus for a second. Uh -huh. I want to ask you about uh -huh. your life. A lot, of, a lot of fans love you, and we don't get an opportunity to talk to you face right. to face. You had a rough childhood. I swear to fucking Christ. You are a light-skinned black woman, though. Uh, yeah, light-skinned not... Italian black She's woman. She's half Italian. Italian. Yeah. Look at this nose. You're half Italian. That's are what I'm really? saying. You're, you're not, not half. Excuse me. That's what I'm saying. I'm, no, I'm, you're not I'm, half Italian. Well, you, you, fuck you. 
Fuck no. you. <laughs> Fuck you. Your parents are You're not half, you not half Jew either. Fair enough. You 400 percent Jew. There you go. Nah. You, you figured it out. Right. Listen to me. Both my parents are black. You're not learning disabled. You uh, figured it out in two okay. seconds. Okay. Right. Both my parents are black. My mother's Cherokee and, and black. My father's black, black, black and people, Italian. Don't a lot of black now. people say they're Indian and to try to... No. Too. I'm just telling you, I got Indian. a little Cherokee in me, too. I'm mixed right. with a lot of shit. That's why mm. my skin is like this. Were your parents bad to you? Hey, well, my mother was a drunk, mm. and my father was a mean, black, Italian asshole. Mm. Why was he an asshole? In what way? Did he molest you? No, if he had done that, he'd have been dead a long time ago. Right. What happened, he must have came from a rough childhood like I did. Mm -hmm. You know, see, I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not like some of these freaks coming in, in the studio. <laughs> hi, Robin. Hi, how? I'm going to say hello to all my friends here. I would focus well, thank you. I thought you, you were a do you big wanna, celebrity. Do you want to sit on the you, Sibian? You fuck yourself. You're a good celebrity. <laughs> you makes me laugh, okay? You okay. like Hardy now. Yeah. I never did. Now, this is like... Oh, that's not true. You you, you know vicious. You know, because you were vicious with me, okay? What did I say about you? Okay, come on, be honest. We were being so fucked up on the show, because we're doing it for the show, and realize we are very beautiful, nice people. <laughs> come on. Okay. 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 You're acting like everything's good in your life right now. Because I'm around here with you guys. But that's I like it. when you yell about where you live, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That, that fucked up garbage can that I live in? <laughs> are you very poor? Oh, well, I'm not. Poor, 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 Do you poor, have a poor. job? But I can survive. I put it like that. Do you have a job? No. I'm you on, do not. I'm on disability. No, when okay? you say disability, for what? SSI, stuff like that. No, but we... how do you get on? Do you have yeah. a job at one time? No. How Never. do you get on I, did, I do a little strap down then, but it doesn't pay much. It wouldn't pay enough to get shit to put in a can. How do you how do you get SSI? Explain this to me. This is not something I don't understand. You know what? I don't want to go through all that bullshit right now because it's going to take the whole day. No, no, but what does it mean to be on SSI? In other words, you have... Disability. What is the disability? I don't know, doctor. You have to know. I don't know. You, you know when what? You, go, you get free money from the government, right? Well... Fuck not you. Free. It's not free. Well, no. it's free. It's in other words, they send you. You don't argue with two black women. No, but you, but Alice. <laughs> Shut up. You. Shut up. I don't want to hear it no more. Let's move on. It's a show. Why not are like... we moving on? I, I want to. I want to be explained this whole thing. In other uh... words, you seem like a very healthy woman. Now, did you go to college? No. Uh, no, you didn't go no. to college. So you get out of high school. Well, tell the truth. Nine in German, that mean no. You didn't I, even graduate high school? No. Because oh. of the disability. I when see. I was growing what up, is it? Is they, it a shut mental, up. mental disability? Shut up. <laughs> okay. Because they, they didn't have the special school right. back when we was growing uh, up. I see. Yeah. You the don't 40s. Seem, you don't Did seem you go dumb. To that? I know. I mean, so you say disability. You couldn't work in a clothing store or a, a uh, restaurant store. or a, I mean, you have a gift of something. Gift. They died know something, Howard. I don't a mental know. Illness. I don't know Did that they send you to doctor? I don't know that either, but they died know something. Are you bipolar? I don't know. Are you on medication? Yes, for ah, depression. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're depressed. You'd be a good motivator. Yeah. Like, you could motivate a coach or something uh, or a trainer. Uh, like, I'd snap right Yeah, so I can help learn how to fight. Uh, so uh -huh. when you were a little girl, you mm -hmm. grew up where? Right. Where and, did you grow up? But the, my original hometown is in Alabama, Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And you had no friends when you were a little girl? Okay, when I was little, no offense, these fucking dark-skinned niggers <laughs> didn't like me because of my light skin. Yeah. Your, hair, yeah. your hair is not processed. That's the way you have, like, almost white woman hair. Yeah, you could push it back with, you know, with, with gel and anything. This is not a treatment of some kind that you no, have straight hair? You no, no, it comes from hair? Cherokee and uh, Italian. So you got hair like my Aunt Connie. Okay. Oh, really? see? Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 Okay. So okay. You, have, you have, like, white people's hair. Well, I got, I got brown nibbles, too. They're right. not dark. Like average black people. Yeah, see that male mix. What is the point you make? Thank Most you. black women have, have very dark, dark nipples. Dark nipples, nipples like raisins. Those little black, little dark things. And yours are light. Yeah. You have light nipples. No, they light brown from being mixed with his people. Like Roy All Campanella. Right. Yeah, and, it's kind of like that. You know, somebody, and you're I saying know. from a young age, uh -huh. the black children did not like you. Uh, uh, did they fight with you? Yes, or? they uh, did. I got scarred from the childhood fighting because of my color, my goddamn skin. And you talking about white people racist? Black jigaboo could be just as racist against light-skinned people like me. I used to be called Dago.
Do you feel betrayed? Yeah. Do you I feel know. Do you feel betrayed by your own race? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I can't say my own race because I'm. I can't deny my Italian. Uh, I can't. You're, you're a black you woman. Oh, no, you're, you're a Jew. Okay. Oh, you're Jewish. Fine, fair oh, enough. Oh, oh, I'm half Jew. What? Down well, below, I'm under your Jewish. feet? And you're a black woman? No, but I'm mixed. I'm not no, as black. Yes, black. I am. You're, you're black. shit. No, you're, you're black. Shit. You're black. You're <laughs> shit. But I'm mixed with white blood, People too. People identify you as a black woman. That's you good. Know. I don't care, but I know who I am, who I really when am. You were I don't care what you fucking racist asshole think. I'm not going to deny my white side. I don't give a fuck. What y'all think? When you, were, when you were a little girl, did you wish you were dark-skinned? No. Did you ever pray that you could be dark like the other black no. children? No. Were you accepted by whites? No. Yes! No. You, you, I don't fucking uh, you don't tell me. Italians I don't consider you. I know where I grew up. Italians, I know where I grew up. No. I don't give a damn what stereotype. Italians don't, don't consider you Italian. I don't care what the stereotype do, wait, fucking Alice, people Alice, think. Alice, I don't care what stop stereotype for a stop motherfucking for a people think. I don't care. Fuck you! No, don't fuck me. <laughs> no, uh, Italian, anyone else don't believe that it's meant to America. There's no such thing as plain it, race. Hold it. Fuck. Italians, Thank you. Italians don't consider you I Italian. I don't give a fuck. No, but you know that, right? I, I, I'm educated with racism because I come from the South. But you're South. a woman who doesn't consider herself white or black. That's either. what I'm saying. Yeah. I give myself a human race. But you're not Italian. I am mixed you're with not Italian. A, his people don't accept you. I don't give a Aww. fuck. And some of the people don't accept you Jews That's right. either. That's right. And some white people don't like your That's asses. That's right. They don't accept you either. That's right. All so right, why are you getting defensive? The same so why are you getting defensive? Well, why are you getting defensive when I call I'm you a fool Jew? <laughs> why, are they, why are you getting defensive when I call you a fool Jew? I accept it. No, you know, you're getting offended. You're, no, you're, you're arguing offended. with me. You're arguing with me. You're arguing with me. I love you're you, offended. but you want to argue? Go ahead. I'm not arguing. I don't give a you're damn. I'm trying I to understand you. you. I told you, gay house. I made it clear. I don't now give a you fuck. call me gay house. I don't give a fuck what people think. I right. really don't. All right. All right, let's move on. Well, okay. see, I'm trying to get right. to the bottom so, of it. Did, then did you have white friends? She had no friends. No friends I, uh, at all. See, this, 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 this <laughs> bitch don't know what he's talking about. Did you have friends? I had more white friends. I did black friends. I fight with where are your the white friends kids now? My neighbor, I moved away from them. When the fuck what is happened that they to gone? them? They left back in the cell. Is that why you're angry? No, I don't give a damn. <laughs> you I, have I, no friends I'm now. I'm another arty in a female body. No, you're give not. A you're fuck a woman. Nobody say. I, did, I said female body. Can you hear? Get the hell out of here. I said were female body. Were you an attractive young girl? I was men? so pretty. Motherfucker, me could stay away from me. And I brought you because I was afraid of them. When did you start to have sex with men? And were they black men? After I was men? married. Oh, when you got married? You were a virgin when you got married? Yeah. Wow. At 22. Do you have children? First time. One boy, and he's a special kid. Where is your son? I never hear about him. Okay, you want me to... Uh, one day I can set up a... Uh, Phone is he good call. to you? He's a, he's about this tall. Yeah. And and he's a nice guy. He's a very nice soul. Not a soul. gang banger or anything. No, like not because he's because he's black. No, right. he's a very Christian, sweet soul. You married and a you black raised man? him? I, I raised him. I don't understand how you turn out so good because I'm so bad. <laughs> did you raise him black? I raised a child. And did you raise him in a black community? I raised a child. Did you I raise always him stay in a, black in a mixed neighborhood. A mixed neighbor. How did you afford a mixed neighborhood? I had money back Your then. Your husband worked. No, 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 no. No, I had me and my sister. We supported each other for God took her away from me. What did you do with her? What well, kind we of work? both was on SSI, okay? You were. So you combined your SSI, yeah. and lived together, and you had a better standard of living. That's right. And you were able to afford a home in a mixed neighborhood. Yeah, and my son, he was on SSI, too, so we bound that all together and lived good. You all get on SSI. Thank right. God for SSI. I yeah. want this. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Yeah, it is. You it mean is. they send checks, and you don't have to do anything for well, it? Well, what the fuck can I say? Sometimes God fucks up. He fucks up on people sometimes. He fucked you up? He sounds like you're living the life of Riley. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? Well, you know, look at you. You educated. You educated. You educated. My sweet friend's educated. She's educated. But God put you in a position. You make it in this world and some that can't. Okay, fair enough. What happened to your husband? Fuck him to hell. Is Why? he still around? What happened? Did he treat you badly? He was a mil you know, you, was a you remember back in 1997? You were about ready to kick the living shit out of my ex home. You was mad yeah, as I hell. Yeah, somebody came up here with you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, that big gorilla. I said, uh-oh, please, uh, Robert, you don't want to go to jail. <laughs> she was so goddamn mad. She wanted to kick the shit out of my ex home. Because he must abuse me and a fifth abused me. Oh. Yeah. He abused you in front of Robin? No, no, fool. 
In no, front to, of Ron? When, when, no, when we were living together, you big dummy. Right, and she was telling us the story, and he was sitting there. You're, right. you're telling me uh, <laughs> your husband would beat you? Yeah, no, he wouldn't. Phil would beat me. You know, he manhandled me. And you would allow that? No, believe me. It came time. I had spices fucking food trying to pause that motherfucker. <laughs> you tried to pause him? And, why were, and why, were you not, why were you not successful when you tried that to pause nice? him? Huh? How, how come you couldn't successfully pause him? Because there's a God. There's a God. Yeah, he won't that little fucker live long enough he could fly in here when he die. How long were you married to this man? Oh, uh, let me tell you. Hell, I don't even want to tell you the number of the years I've been with that freak. Are you still married? You're not divorced. Oh, I'm too. She finally I'm, killed you know, him. No, stop that motherfucker. <laughs> okay, no, what happened? You remember back in 1997? I was divorced him back in uh, back in 94. Oh, okay. Is that the last time you had sex with your husband? Yes. Now, so he's the only man you ever had sex that's with? That's right. Wow. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. Uh, yeah, I don't have sex anymore. When, he div when you guys got divorced, mm -hmm. that cost money. And then uh, your sister was gone, so now your standard of living dropped. Yeah. And you had to move. Now mm -hmm. I assume your son doesn't live with you anymore? No, I had to put him in a group home. He develops emotional problems. Oh. A group home? Yeah. Oh. Or yeah. you say special. Do you, is that what you mean? Is okay, he, he's, he's mild retarded. Oh. Yeah. Well, your son? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I, I can't that. stand to look over this wall. They're too friends. Wait, you okay. say your son is mildly oh, retarded and he lives in a group home. Do you go visit him Yes, there? I visit him every week and call him... Uh, two or three times a day, you know. Because you say to your mom, why are you putting me in this home? Why and I had to explain to him because he kept running away. He didn't know what he was running away for. Yeah, well, he he didn't wants understand. to be like everyone else. Yeah, you have to have the police look for him for two or three weeks. So you've had it tough, but yes. this is a heartbreak that's to you, why, so. That's why my faith the way it is. I used to have a beautiful faith. In God. And no, you, face. She said she was you beautiful. Big, no, you faith. big dummy. No, no, face. Face. You said faith. No, she said face. That's faith, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> you said face. Have you ever considered doing the you Red Fox story? <laughs> I was going to roll with you. You're saying you gained uh, weight and your face changed. I used to, uh, I was so skinny, you could call me bony. But when you go through a lot of shit in your life, I relate to you. What do you eat? Uh -huh. What do you eat that you get? Uh, you eat fried foods? Yes, I do. That's yeah. why I say it on air. I don't. I don't disrespect nobody when they're overweight. I don't give a fuck. I want some comfort. Let's go out for dinner. All right, I'll take you to dinner. Sure. And, and uh, there came a time when your husband uh, and you split up, and now you have less money, so you move to a black neighborhood. No, it wasn't black. It's Spanish. Yeah. Black, crackhead, drug addict, peeing all over the fucking cop on the outside of my door, and shit and vomiting. That's disgusting for a good person like me to live like that. What did yeah. I do wrong? That's so hard. it was a big adjustment for you yeah. to move from this mixed neighborhood where people took care of their homes and stuff to this uh, lower economic neighborhood right. where people piss and shit all over. Can't you start a, like a, a community group or something? You know where the community I live in, they can't stand each other. How the fuck am I going to start something like that? You know what's like funny? That? You bring up a good point. Right. How come, uh, you know, you would think that poor people mm -hmm. would value any little thing they That's have right. and keep it sacred and yeah. special yes. because it's all they got. Yeah. Instead, they're disrespecting where they live. Right. And want to break you in your house this? and take some of uh, belongs to them. Has your house been broken into? Not yet. God, I prayed about that. Do you have bars on your window? No, you have I have one of... bar where, you, you know, we got on outside. You can't clam in, but somebody left a bar on that one. They had that same insecurity I did when they were living there. So you now live in a black community, and right. do black people taunt you? Uh, do they? No, spicks do, too. Oh. Spicks, too. Yeah. And Spanish people. Yeah, you and, and, and stereotype jigaboos. I'm not talking about good black people. You say spicks and jigaboos and yeah. things like this, and that doesn't, uh, th that's not demeaning to the people? Not the good people, right. just the stereotype ones. I see. The okay. little email that I write, oh, it's well. to say. But what do they taunt you about? You know, people just mean for no fucking reason. You can have, you can have one leg or one arm. They find something to fucking talk about you about. About. Right, right. Yeah, yeah no, you're I right. can look my best the way I'm looking now. Some some evil bitch or bastard will find out something wrong with me. What will they say to you? I, oh, you're heavy or you're. Oh uh, no, they don't say shit like that. You right. skin a little lizard. Do they uh, think? Do they think that you? Do they think that maybe you have an uh, attitude that you think you're better than I everyone? I swear, to, I swear. I don't, excuse me, girl. I swear to fucking God, I don't do nothing. I just walk. Walk and tend to my been some stupid speck mistaking me for a speck and start speaking Spanish. I said, bitch, I'm half Italian. Speak English to me. I'm American. I'm Italian black woman. Uh, 
And they get, they get uh, yeah. Positive. Yeah. Do they ever get jealous because you're on the show, maybe? Uh, they don't know me. They don't know anything about it's you. It's just evil out there. Come on, kids. It's just evil. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's say hi to some wow. people. Okay. Alice well, is here. I want to know, well, Alice, now you, you've lost some weight. Uh -huh. Are you dating? No, I don't want to no. go through that you're shit. You're into women, oh, yeah, right? I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad you brought that. You want to date Jimmy Florentine? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't want that. Oh, no. You don't want him? Okay, let me make that clear. Let me make this <laughs> record ball. straight. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gay. Right. I don't even, I'm not even attracted to women that way. Mm -hmm. I was just talking all over oh, my see. head. Right. If a woman come on to me, I swear she's going to get this. What is that? I'm a boss in the lip if she try to touch me sexual. Right. I'm not into women. I have to be straight with you. I don't like women that way. When you were a young girl, did men do things to you that were inappropriate? No, but no. Uh, little black boys used to throw rocks at me. I don't know why, because I didn't want them. It's almost like you were Frankenstein. I mean, people throwing rocks at you. And <laughs> yeah, really killing female you Frankenstein. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Why? It's like I tell them like you. Me and you, I swear. I heard we always tell my black people, white people fucking with you. Most of black people expect to mess with me. All right, fair enough, okay. fair enough, all right, fair enough. You're absolutely right. Okay. All right. But you're not gonna, you don't want to be bothered with men anymore. No. no. Uh, Dan, I, you're on the air. Let's okay, say hi to Dan. Oh, here we go, these cocksuckers. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, hi Fred. Hi. Yeah, hi. How, for the love of God, for uh -huh. all that's holy in this world, give this woman her own show. Oh, yes, okay. yes. Would you like right. to do a show one yeah, time on I'm your own? Yeah, I'm telling those hacks packs y'all have in here. Hack packs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hack packs. <laughs> yeah. And they be sent through the news and shit. I said, why can't that be me? I just saw that by Artie. Yeah, right. That'd be great. Well, maybe uh, you think you can handle it and be controversial. I swear to fucking Christ, whatever you want me to throw the no, stones. No, I mean you'll at. talk about uh, Britney Spears or. Oh, God. fuck that crazy bitch! Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. We well, got the right attitude. Okay. Sonny, <laughs> uh, uh, you're on the air. Listen, Howard, get this. Shut up, you fucking cocksucker! Your mama's a bitch, and you one. I bet you suck dicks, don't you, faggot? Don't you? You fuck. Well, let's hear what he has to say. I don't give a damn with that cunt. Wait, wait, let's you see. You remember what I, I told you? I don't I'll, give a fuck what people think. Yeah, but think. I want to hear what he has to say. I don't no, give a fuck respond. about that animal. If you're going to host the show, you got to hear what they have to say. Oh, okay. The bitch going to mistake me for a bitch. Go ahead, go ahead, no, cunt. Sonny, are you. Gonna... Go ahead, cunt. Gonna... Oh, shut up. Wait, cut off the radio. Cut off, cut off the fucking radio. Wait, like when... Alice, okay. let me hear what he has no, to say. No, no. I'm going to tell you something. This is about Artie. I'm going to make it clear to every motherfucker out there, you stay the fuck away from Artie. You don't like the way he looks. You don't like the Why way he sounds. Why are you defending Artie? Artie made fun of you. Shut up. Shut up. Artie made fun of you. Artie made fun of you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just for the fucking show. Just for the fucking show. Bullshit. You are no, mad. No, you are bullshit. Bullshit, You bullshit. Bullshit. You bullshit. <laughs> shut up, cocksucker. <laughs> but like I was saying, those who don't want to listen to Artie look out and stay the fuck away from his, his weight. Say it. There you go. Fuck you, cocksucker. All right, let me hear what Sonny has. Get low, you burning hell, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Your mom is crazy, so you cunt. You suck dick, don't you, faggot? All right, I, I said faggot. I, she won't let me do one. Burning hell with Satan, faggot. Cause that's where you're going away, you cocksucker. All right. All right. Short let, dick cunt. <laughs> let's say hi to let's say hi to Debbie. Nice man. That's good. But you you gotta let people talk. I, you know what? <laughs> Fuck people. All right, Debbie, you're on the air. Hi, um, one four three Alice. But, oh, uh, I love but, you. No, but I'm, I'm not. I don't mean it like that. I don't want her to hit me or anything. I just love her. She's my favorite caller. But I think she might have um, Tourette syndrome. Why you say that? The fuck is that? You dummy. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't have that. <laughs> right there. I Tourette's is where you yell out obscenities for no reason. She oh, no, I'm not out of control reason. like that, you no. big dummy. No. No, <laughs> no, no, she doesn't have Tourette's. She wants no. to yell. In other words, yeah. she's, she's, she's happy. She's intentional. She, she does what she's doing. Right, let's, say, myself. Let's, yeah. let's take some real questions okay. for Alice. Bobo, you're on here. I don't have How you doing? I am what the fuck kind of phone? You, excuse me for a minute. What kind of fucking phone you on? You're breaking I, up. I want to have you on. You have a sister. She's a, a crazy psycho. Fuck like you. Me. Like you. You're crazy too, you stinking psycho cunt. <laughs> you said you said your sister died. She lost her hey, sister. Hey, you know yeah. what? Everything that you say about my sister, hope it happened to everyone in fucking your family, bitch. Well, I'd strike you death on your family and you, you cunt. What what happened to your sister that she yeah, died? I can't shut up, bitch. I don't want to talk to you because you you already gonna be crying no, pretty soon. You're gonna be crying pretty soon. Well, get off the fucking phone. 
Cause you you polluting up my ears. I smell like perfume. Now I smell like shit. Cause that's what you sound like and smell Alice, like. What happened to your shed sister? cancer? Shed cancer. Yeah. And and was she a gregarious person like yourself? In other no, words, she was quiet and sweet. But she was she can be a bitch just like anybody else when she wanted. Did she to. yell the way you do? No, she's not yelling. That she's the silent type. You know, those kind of real. Dang, those sight, those yeah. quiet Was she sight. the only one who was nice to you? Yeah. So losing her was a big blow. It was a big fucking deal. That's why I don't know why y'all lab label me as crazy. I'm just a builder. Oh Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Why don't you get on the phone and cut the rest of that little dick you got left? Okay, like I say, that's the reason I don't consider myself crazy. I'm just hurt. Do you think the way you argue with people, like that you, you quickly snap on Bobo, for example? Do Fuck you... Bobo. That's a that's a good name. Because you know what they what they Japanese. Bozo. Bozo. Oh, oh, I thought you said Bobo. No, Bozo. Oh. Well, he, I bet you he is a Bozo. I bet you ugly you like one. You, I bet you ugly. You I think, bet you so fucking do you, ugly. Do you think you yell at people quickly because this way? They I don't, can't get at you okay. first. In other oh, words, no, no, no. are you on the defensive? No, I'm I'm like that too, but yeah. I don't consider that animal on the phone people. You don't. That thing was born Bobo. from born from both fucking men. What about that wig he wears? Fuck though. yourself. What about too. that toupee he wears, Bobo? You that like that? Ugly, I told you got a name like the, the devil. You know what those uh, the, I call them Japanese something like that? They call uh, Satan Bobo. See, Is I'm talking right? Satan right now. Hey, bo hey, Bowley. So, hey, Bowley. Let me wipe. Let me wipe that shit. That shit you got on your head and wipe the shit off my at my booty. You know, you're not. He's you, ugly. I've seen that thing. He's ugly. Uh, he looks like a lizard. Is it fair to say that? Shut up, cocksucker. Cock cock. I look better than you. Believe me, I look better than you. I'm starting to understand. You're mm. not crazy, Alice. No. Your heart is hurting, Alice. That's what I'm saying. Your heart is hurting. Do you want yeah. to be known as heart is hurting, Alice? Whatever. Whatever. All right. All right. All right. Or whatever. Let's, hey, get, hey, get off the phone because I can still smell shit. Ralph wants to say hi. Uh, hi, Ralph. Uh, you know, listen, uh, enough of this rude, foul Shut nice up, you pig. faggot. Shut up, you fag. Right, with yeah, that big chair on your, your oh, face look you, like you, shit. You play, Shut you up, you big nose, stuff. ugly lizard, ugly you, funky you, ass smell, green teeth cock suck. Go and on suck on a You're dick. A on Go society. and suck on a well, dick, faggot. Why do you say she's a drain? Because here she is dispelling every myth of the black. living. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, shut up. You're a faggot. I know. I You know. I don't relate to homosexual in a way. They don't like me, and I don't like them. I don't relate to cocksucking way. I so hate homosexual. So trying to say that you're somehow a drain on society because you have to be paid for it. No, bitch. I don't know what that faggot talking about. Go and suck on a dick, you whore. Shut up, you fucking cunt. Let's go to what? Uh, go away, you faggot, you ugly ass. Let's go to your king of your people, king of all blacks. Uh, Let's go to... Uh, yes, King. No, I, don't, I don't like these people talking to her like that. I mean, Thank you. It, it don't make sense, man. Mm -hmm. oh, you you very rude to her, man. I'm yeah. not rude at all. Thank I, you, brother. Have I been rude to you, Alice? Well, you got the fifth when I called you a no, one I said didn't. You. I don't mind that. Yes, you did. No, I yes, you did. Alice, 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 uh -huh, I uh -huh. just want to ask you something, man. Yeah. I'm going through some tough times okay. with my wife and okay. all that, and I just wanted to ask okay. if you might want to go out to dinner or something. We go to Aquavit or something. Yeah, but you married. I don't. I don't go. I don't go that way. I'm sorry, brother. I like. I can. No, listen, okay. Listen. I can. You don't believe me. I can He's meet you. you on. I'm crap. I know. I know. But I. I don't want to go out with no married man. I really don't. Oh, he's full. No, nah, I don't want to be with somebody who's making commitment to another person. No way. He doesn't even want to be with a black woman. No. He's a no. Woman. No. No. Well, I look. I could pass for Spanish. The king. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Yeah, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, King All Black. I, I can't do Let it. Let me hear what he has to say. I'm sorry. What is it, King? Baby, baby, baby please. Okay. I just want to take you out. That's okay. all. Right, okay. King. okay. I don't okay. think he's sincere. Uh, Alice. Okay. He'll stay right in Jersey. Okay. Alice, let me say something. Okay. Uh, you are terrific on the show. Yeah. Uh, let me play one of your great calls. Oh, what, here we what, go. What, what do you think's the best one? <laughs> the, a crazy. The, I say crazy Alice prank. Uh, well, you know, I think call. I think uh, you should play just a reminder how uh, nasty she was to me. Oh man! No, no, no! I, I, mean, I just because my heel, my no. feelings were so hurt. Oh damn! <laughs> damn! How what is the best? What for? is the best phony phone call with Alice? What is the best one? Uh huh. I'll play one. Don't oh, play that. Where they used their voice for a phone? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't want them call. Oh, I don't know. Don't Which one do you like, like, Robin? Don't use none of the tape on the Remember when she was on the phone with that woman? <sighs> Which one is the best? One of your favorites is Nigga Love Sweetening, when she calls oh, yes. yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Well, what? there were two. There was one with a woman, and who then there was one. That yeah, was the woman. Yeah, who yeah, this? Yeah. Who this? Yeah. Who this? Yeah, okay. I, 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 I I'll get it for you. Okay. Dis? All right, here we go. Okay. Here's who this. I, I got who this. I okay. Hello. Hello? Yes. 
Hello? Well, hello. Who is this? Who is this? You call my house. Who? What? Who is this? Why don't you tell me who you is? Who is this? You are the retarded ass bitch. <laughs> yes? Who is this? What is the problem with you? Who is this? Who is this? You still saying, who is this? Who? What the fuck you call here for? Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Who is this? You tell me who you is. Shut the fuck up, ugly. How the hell you know how ugly I am? You must be looking at your own ugly, stupid ass. Who is this? You are the retarded ass bitch. Shut up, bitch. You shut up, bitch. Who is this? Listen how stupid you sound. Who is this? You sound, you keep on saying, who is this? Just like a retard. Dumb ass, black tar color, fuck ass, cage bitch. You don't like I know, her. I uh -huh. thought of another one that I also like. You mm -hmm. gotta play the one with the sweetening. But there was I like that one too. One uh -huh. where the guy, where the guy <laughs> put Alice on the phone as a young girl who you. wanted to go to a fashion. The modeling agency? The modeling agency. All right, yeah. Oh, that's sweet too. I, I really had to lower Alice's mic because she yells at the yeah, phone call. Like, I don't the give a fuck. Try to make that to bitch it. up, the be. Oh, what? that's not right. Model agency, how can I help you? Yeah, yo, this is the modeling agency? Yes. Yeah, cool. So check this shit out. I want to get my daughter Alice down there, get her some pictures, get her on TV, maybe make a video so we can all get paid. Okay, very good. So can you come in Thursday? Can you bring her Thursday? Let me put her on the phone. Okay. Yo, Alice, pick up. Pick up, girl. Hello? Uh, hi. H hello? Who is this? This is Mother Agency. I just talked with your father. He called me. He's a piece of shit! Okay. Hello? Yeah, man, what happened? I need you to talk to my daughter, get involved in this modeling shit. Did you explain to her what is going on? Because when she picked up the phone, she doesn't. She has no idea what is going on. God damn. I think uh, you should play just a reminder how uh, nasty she was to me. Oh time. man! No, no, no! I, 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 mean, I just because my heel, my no. feelings were so hurt. Oh damn! <laughs> damn! How what, is long you best, what is the best phony phone call with Alice? What is the best one? Uh huh. I'll play one. Don't oh, play you know where they used her voice for a oh, call? I don't, the no, I don't want them. Oh, I don't, don't know. Don't Which one do you do like, Robin? Don't use none of the tape Remember on Remember when she was on the phone with that woman? <sighs> Which one is the best one? One of your favorites is Nigga Love Sweetening when she calls her. Oh, yes, that's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. What, what? Well, there were two. There was one with a woman and then who there was this? one. That yeah, was the woman. Yeah, who yeah. this? Who this? Yeah. Who this? Yeah, okay. I, 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 I I'll get it. Uh, who okay. This? All right, here we go. Okay. Here's who this. I, I got who this. I love okay. this one. Hello. Hello? <laughs> yes. Hello? Well, hello. Who is this? Who is this? You call my house. Who? What? Who is this? Why don't you tell me who you is? Who is this? You are the retarded ass bitch. <laughs> yes? Who is this? What is the problem with you? Who is this? Who is this? You still saying, who is this? Who? What the fuck you call? Shut the fuck up, ugly. How the hell you know how ugly I am? You must be looking at your own ugly, stupid ass. Who is this? You are the retarded ass bitch. Shut up, bitch. You shut up, bitch. Who is this? Listen how stupid you sound. Who is this? You sound, you keep on saying, who is this? Just like a retard. Dumb ass, black tar color, fuck ass, cage bitch. You don't like I know, her. I thought uh -huh. of another one that I also like. You mm -hmm. gotta play the one with the sweetening. But there was I like that one too. One uh -huh. where the guy, where the guy <laughs> put Alice on the phone as a young girl who you. wanted to go to a fashion. The modeling agency. The modeling agency. All right, yeah. Oh, that's sweet too. I, I really had to lower it. Alice's mic because she yells at the yeah, phone call. Like, yeah. I don't the give a fuck. Try to make that to bitch it. up, the be. Oh, what? that's not right. Model agency, how can I help you? Yeah, yo, this is the modeling agency? Yes. Yeah, cool. So check this shit out. I want to get my daughter Alice down there, get her some pictures, get her on TV, maybe make a video so we can all get paid. Okay, very good. So can you come in Thursday? Can you bring her Thursday? Let me put her on the phone. Okay. Yo, Alice, pick up. Pick up, girl. Hello? Uh, hi. H hello? Who is this? 
This is my emergency. I just talked with your father. He called me. Piece of, piece of shit. Okay. Hello? Yeah, man, what happened? I need you to talk to my daughter. Get involved in this modeling shit. Did you explain to her what is going on? Because when she pick up the phone, she doesn't. She has no idea what is going on. God damn it, girl, pick up the phone and I'll stick my foot up your ass. Yeah. Hello, Alex. Go ahead. How old are you? You know what? I'm in the bathroom where I, where I take a shit. Guys, I don't have time. You, you fat fuck! You fat fuck! You fat fuck! Hello? Yeah, so check this out. I just slapped the shit out of Alice, so I got her in check. We'll come on down tomorrow and get them pictures for that modeling shit, okay? No, I don't think so. My manager gonna understand if I take her and she come in and gonna act here this way, you know, we have... Hello? Alice? Yeah. I I'm sorry, I c couldn't do it. Get the fuck up, ugly! No, it's not gonna work this way. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Okay, go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Hal. It doesn't make any sense, we cannot do this. Fuck off, you fat fuck! You just you made your son! You you fat bitch! <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> Wow, she really went to town on her. <laughs> yeah, but she beautiful. But that oh, that, that black call, that black little jigaboo, that old bitch. Do you oh, get do you get jealous of these pretty girls, the girls who have? Of oh, course I do, just yeah. like any other most natural woman. They get everything in life. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, yeah. See. I see what you're saying. Yeah, well, whatever. All right, what was the last call you wanted to hear? That's the one uh, with the sweet sweetening. Yeah. yeah. All right, hold on, I gotta look for it. Okay. All right, I found it. I like it. All right, this is this is you in love mode, okay. full love mode. Okay, okay. You're blind, nigga. You're oh, nigga. That ain't What's that? That's a song. Hey. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, let's see. It'll take me a second here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Gee whiz, there's so many of them. I can't. Mm -hmm. Hair salon, crazy house, mm -hmm. all that kind of part. One chimney sweep. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, no one's gonna run in and help me. I guess. Okay. Damn, get in him. All right. <laughs> There you go. I, you got to point it out to me. There's yeah. 50,000 of them on here, pal. Would you, how would I know that? Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, Wait, you can't even find it. It should be. Which one is it, Sal? Damn. What? I don't know what happened to it. It was there, Howard. Yeah, oh, this... oh, come on. All right, forget it. I can't play it this time. Oh. Thank you, Sal. Oh. I told you, I, these guys Man. make me mental. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You see what I... This sweep's a great one. If you don't play mm -hmm. in the meantime, I'll get the other one. Mm -hmm. well, just get it on there. While okay. it, come on. I'll, I'll say this. Well, Alice, I want to thank you for okay. coming in to see us. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day you ought to come on uh, Howard 101. I will. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I will. You know, I will. Probably hook you up from where you live, even. You That's what, what I'm mean? saying. Because yeah. I hear the shit on there. You got these hacks packed. I want to... What the who? fuck you talk... Hack packs. Who, who is it you don't okay. like? Okay. I, I don't say... Don't, don't say I don't like. You like elephant boy don't I you? love that kid yeah I mean, and, uh, and Bigfoot when the fuck is he he's supposed to be here today oh really yeah what mm. happened I don't know fuck we can't find him half the time <laughs> yeah you know, what, about, what about Riley you like Riley? I love that kid yeah yeah I love him you but like I, him. I could do better because I don't believe in no little green man what the <laughs> fuck yeah, oh damn right. Oh, that green man, he's walking around. Oh, it's too much. Well, Alice, how long are you in town for, Alice? Uh, to, to Thursday. You oh, hear that, nice. Tim? I'm sorry. That's yes. right. Uh -huh. It's in purple, uh -huh. Howard. On uh -huh. All right, thank sorry. you. Were you responsible for loading these in? Yes, I did load them all in. Who is responsible? I want to know. I'm 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 responsible for it. I loaded that page with Richard a while ago. Yeah. And I double checked everything this morning, and I saw just like you, nigga love sweetening, and I didn't see song parody in front. That All should right, have been a different you. color. I apologize. Get out of here. By the way, uh, people should know that if you uh, hunger for more Al Alice, Alice will be part of the Whack Pack Town meeting tonight at seven o'clock on oh, Howard One Hundred One. Whack yes. Pack. <laughs> Whack Pack Town meeting. You're not a member of the Whack Pack. I don't like being called Whack Pack. <laughs> Baby, you're in the Whack Pack. Fuck you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, and, and listen. To the Whack Pack Town meeting. This I is going to be very anxious. big. Okay. It's another big program coming uh -huh. out on Howard 101. Right. Alice, congratulations. You know the things that I said mean on air about you guys? Yes. Just out of envy and mm. jealousy. Yeah, I know. Because I, I look at you. You're not a fucking ugly person, okay? Thank you. Fuck you. Okay? Uh -huh. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, here you are. One last time. Here is Alice mm -hmm. with the sweetening guy. Okay. Oh. Uh, I hope this is it. Uh, I remember the guy's name was Artie, thank God. Uh, they, right. the boys... I got my boyfriend name. <laughs> yep, the boys uh, looked in the phone book for a guy named Artie, and we found one. Here it is. Hello? Fuck you, Artie. 
Who you is? Bring your ass in to me. That short dick ass party. Artie? Damn, yeah, your name Artie going on like you going on. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Come on down here. I'll get right with you, darling. You poor motherfucker can't afford you know what I got. You don't know who you talking to. You don't know who you talking to, do you? Quit my goddamn foot in your way. I'm a hypocrite. I hate being black. You nigga a son of a bitch one, ain't you? Fuck you, Artie. Nigga loves sweetening, don't he? Fat fucking nigga. You nigga. You lying, nigga. You nigga. Yeah, I said nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga loves sweetening, don't he? Fat fucking nigga. There you go. There you is. Come on, man. You don't like us with black women like that anyway. You like them light skin like me. How you don't know how you know what I like? I buy me a goddamn sheen gun and ride it to you. Wow, that was a good yeah. one. That was real love talk. Yeah, Do you like not, hearing those? Do you yeah, like? Yeah, uh, like a strong black man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He not he didn't holler out. You ugly bitch. Blah blah blah. He was classy about it. <laughs> what does he mean by a nigga love sweetening? I don't know, cause I don't give a shit. I don't know. All right. Well, there don't it give is. A shit. Who can figure it all out? Right. Good luck on the show tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always great to have you here. Okay. Love to hear what you have to. Oh, look at all the phone calls. Marion oh. from Brooklyn. What oh, do you want? how you doing, Chad? Oh, how you doing? I love you. Let's do lunch, Alex. Okay. I'm going to leave my number with Will. i got to meet up with you this okay. before you go back home. I love okay. you, Alex. I love you, oh, Look too. at Marion from Brooklyn having lunch with Alex. Networking. 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 Oh, hold on, hold on. Good luck tonight. Break away, sweetheart. Thank you, Angel. I love you. I love you, too. You have your fans. Okay. All right. Good for you. Okay. You will go to lunch with her? I will. Yeah, you're here in New York. You should go have some fun. Right. Go around. Yeah, don't just sit like, in your hotel. Yeah, that's my right. hometown. Yeah, go, Is it? Yeah. Yeah, have some fun. Yeah. Okay. You right. should go okay. see Jersey Boys. I, uh, go with you her. You want to go with me? I would go with you. Oh, yeah, let me tell you something while you're on L. Uh, you remember <laughs> when the uh, the Yankees lost? Yeah, they lost. Can you make it up to me by taking me to the Yankee store across the street? <laughs> Yeah, right. Why, you want Yankee clothing and yes, stuff? And yes, stuff? yes, I do. Okay, I'll I buy do. you some Yankee stuff. I love that game. Even though they lose, but I love them still. Uh, well, the Red Sox are in. Fuck so. them. Nah. <laughs> All right, Alice, thank you, and good luck tonight, by thank the way. You. And it uh, looks like you and Artie are having a date. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I'll take you to the Yankee store. Oh, okay, thank you. And I'll protect right. you on the street. Anybody the fuck with them on the street, I swear. Look, they looking for a fight. <laughs> so I'm not Artie will be safe on I'm the not street. Playing. You will be I don't want them calling him. All those ugly names. Like they don't. The people love them. The people love There's them. There's nothing right. like uh, buying an $85 Yankee mug for someone. No, yeah. I don't want that. No I mugs. Want to drink coffee. All right, we'll be back right after <laughs> okay. these words. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. Okay. Great seeing you. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Because you had a bad day. Fuck you. Fuck you, Artie. That fucking nigga. Go on, fuck on a cop. Let's jump over to uh, Alice coming in today. Did she live up to your expectations? Either one of you guys. I, I thought she'd be more confrontational, but I thought she was funny. She how, was did you, funny. how did you think she looked? What did you expect, Artie? Worse. Me too. I thought she looked sort of good. She looked the, fine. The thing that shocked me was that, I, I, in my mind, Alice was always a, sort of an older woman. She's a year younger than me. I thought she would have been older. Yeah, I, I thought she'd look way worse. She looked good. She, she looked good. Yeah, absolutely. She's all right. She's, she uh, you know, and she's, she's nuts. What makes you say that? <laughs> I don't. She could also dance. And uh, she, she at the end of the uh, interview, they played uh, some music with her voice in it, to some dance music. She was dancing her ass off. Now you guys uh, traded some pretty nasty barbs in the past. Yet she's, you know, she said there's nothing there. That was just a matter of entertaining and being fun. Did you feel the same way at the time? No. And I think she's bullshitting. I think. It wasn't for the radio at the time. I think that there was a genuine thing there. Uh, for me, I didn't really know her, so I was attacking her because she attacked me. With me, it was more for the radio. But then out of nowhere, she said, I like God. He's nice. And uh, I said, I like you too, Alice. So here we are, a couple of Italians Gary, just liking each other. Here she is, my my uh, my Shriadel, my uh, Basta Chot. 
My, Alice, welcome. My black Italian. Oh, thank you, my white Italian. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the wrap-up show, Alice. Okay, thank you. How's New York treating you, Alice? I love New York. It's my hometown, brother. What part of New York are you from? We're originally from Brooklyn. What I part? was raised in Brooklyn. I was like this. I was a little girl. Uh, I left, moved to uh, Manhattan when I was uh, 15 years old, 90 and Broadway. What was, street? 90th and Broadway. 90 and Broadway. Really? Yeah, I lived a good life, brother, with my family. No, my family. And then, is that where you went to high school in that neighborhood? Yeah. Or by the Metro Theater? You know yeah, what it is? I, I know it, it's yeah. a lot different uh, uh, neighborhood these days. Right. I looked up there. I can't see you because he's in the way, uh, Artie. Hey, Jim, get out of the way. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. okay, there you go. Alice, how'd you like talking face to face to Howard again? Oh, it was fun. It was fun. Kind of scary because I'm like Howard Stern. I'm afraid of people. And I was kind of nervous a little bit. When'd you move out of Manhattan, darling? Well, I moved out of Manhattan in 1982. How old were you I was 20 then? years old. And then you uh, went where? Went, went to fucking Hell City. L.A.? Los Angeles, right. How, how did that move come about? Your family went or you just decided to go? Well, I decided to go. Just wanted to see what Los Angeles was about. So you went to visit and never left or you now, decided to move? That was my big fucking mistake, Baba Boo. Were okay. you chasing the show business dream, sweetie? Were no. you going to L.A. for the show? I my like, math is correct. You're 47 years of age. Because she got off the bus, she was no, dancing at the seventh van. No, you big dummy. You're 40, you said you were 20 and 82. That, that's that's right. 62. That's 45. Oh, 62, you left. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. no. No, you big dummy. You're 45 years old. Yeah, I left at 82. Oh, that's right, darling. Yeah, right, right. There you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. I made the same mistake. You know, 47, <laughs> 47th Street photos on 45th Street. Mm-hmm. Same type of mistake. Right. Now, uh, you. you just went out to L.A. for the fuck of it. Yeah, just like you just want to go out there and visit the... The, the beautiful weather. You never want to be a comedian because you'd be so... I, I was thinking this during your appearance today. I'm being mm-hmm. dead honest. Okay. That you would be a, a hilarious stand-up comic. Uh, maybe. I'm another Andrew Dice Clay. No, I think I mean, you're more like a Wanda Sykes. Well, oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. Wanda okay. Sykes, as a matter of fact, is I think you could be funnier than her. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Well, I, that's why going to L.A. is a little... I think part of you was like, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get in the show business. Mm, okay. Uh, By the way, how long until uh, Alice is on the Kill as a Comedy Tour? Oh, forget it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put her on the uh, whatever my tour I can't, I can't wait until Bob calls because, you know, the Sheik's difficult. I'm hiring Alice. I'm going to put her on the I'm gonna put her on the What'll Teddy Fuck Up This Week tour. <laughs> now, Alice, it seemed like you were getting upset at that wall behind you that you couldn't see Fred or... Yeah. What's going on with that? Fuck. It felt like you're in Berlin back in the German days. Oh, the slave, Berlin is still German. Oh, the slave in the back and Hitler in the front. <laughs> I like Alice. Yeah, thank you. You look blind though. You, you, you do. You, you should let's see those pretty eyes. You don't want to see. Yeah, see what's going on. You know what's the matter? You're like you. Like, I'm sensitive to the light. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Alice, what do you do? What do you do during the day? Mm-hmm. Like when you, you call us in the morning, and obviously for mm-hmm. you in LA, it's a crack of dawn. So right. So like nine o'clock in the morning. Like, do you have a schedule to be anywhere, or do anything on a regular well, day? Well, I go out for business, like shopping, paying bills, shit like that. But when I'm not doing, I just stay home, listen to you guys, look at movies. And dance. Would you say you're a homebody more than anything? Yeah, I am. I'm a lot like Howard Stern. I can't stand to be around a lot of people. Do you ever go out at night for entertainment purposes? Like, you ever go to the movies? Do you ever go to a comedy club? Or no. You ever go to a club trying to meet guys, anything like that? No. You ever go to the discotheque? No, I've never been there for a while. You yeah. never drop some E and go over to a rave or some shit? No, none of that shit, no. Did, did you guys talk about Alice dancing? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Unbelievable. She's, she's really right. transformed though. Like uh-huh. your your emotional state. I didn't right. see I didn't see her dance, but I'm assuming she's You'll she was see good. it. She was, a, she was with a, a lot of blacks. Dancer, yeah. She was <laughs> with a lot of blacks. They do they transform no, themselves. I, the I grew up around black and white people. Stop that bullshit. Are you saying it's inherent already, <laughs> that sort of thing? I'm saying the extra bone in the ankle gets going there. That's well, right. That bone thing's like that. about you think you got a lot of black like little you too. I do have so I think I do have yeah, I mm-hmm. and I would love Look it. Look at the kinky hair. <laughs> and if you've seen me dance, I uh, I like it. Yeah. yeah, okay. I rapped last week. You missed right, that. I was right. Rapping. You was cool on that. I like when you uh, Mark. You know when you be playing Henry Henry Hill. Yeah, right, that right. That jerk off. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, there go Henry. There go Henry. I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> Now, is your last name really Gotti? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I know that's the funniest thing in the world. It is a black man with a oh, Sicilian name. 
because he mixed with black uh, Italian. Did you watch that 60 Minutes a couple of weeks uh, ago where they uh -huh. talk about you could do like a DNA test to see if you're related to people? Right. They found this black woman in Harlem uh -huh. is related to this cattle farmer <laughs> in the Midwest, like this white guy. That's great. I wonder if Alice is related to the Gottis. I you bet I'm what I'm saying. I you catch me out? Where's your father from? New York? What is, uh, no, uh, you grew up here, so he's from New York. Yeah. Maybe he is. Black little shit. Well, maybe, I bet, hey, look, Gotti's not that common of a name. Right. I don't right. want to get beat up for suggesting there's blacks in the Gotti family, it but is, um, it'd be great when uh, we do Growing Up Gotti if we just bring Alice over to see if they are, in fact, related. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That'd be very amazing, Artie. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, no, because uh, as you know, I'm 25% Indian, and I have a lawsuit pending uh, yeah. for the uh, rights to some money at the um, <laughs> Me too. At the casinos. Yeah, yeah if you're yeah. Cherokee, you could get money. 25% right. Cherokee? Right. Well, I don't know. I don't know what percent. I get right on that mic, darling. Right on that mic, darling. Huh? On the mic, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. We love you. I love you too. All right, let's take a couple of calls. Let's oh. talk to James in Austin. James, welcome to the Wrap Up Show. How are you guys doing today? Good, James. What's on your mind? Well, you know what? I think I think the show is great, but Alice, I liked it better when you and Artie fought a little Fuck bit. Fuck you! Artie I love a fight with you. Oh, I'll show you, pussy. You Don't you what, fuck Alice, with Artie. You stay the you know fuck what, away. Alice, you stay the, the fuck away from Stanford. Artie. Don't even, even stop, don't even Stanford bring up his name Stanford. if you want me to be mean to him. I want to be mean to you. Because I don't know you. Sir, you got a perfect opportunity to be me. Go nuts. Uh, she hates you, clearly, so you go crazy. Yeah, who yeah. gives a shit? You think I care about yeah. fucking name? Because I know who I am. You know what? Go back well, to the damn podcast in Chicago a good time. Go you know that? fuck on your mama's <laughs> pussy. You're doing so on my lines. I was wrong, though. I thought he was in Chicago. You were never living in Chicago. What, did, what made me think that? Yeah, I visited Chicago. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't Thank Alice, you, James. Did you, when you and your husband were sort of getting towards the end, did you guys fight with each other like that? Yeah, yeah. And That's did the neighbors right. ever? Did the neighbors ever tell you to be quiet? No, because most of the neighbors wanted to kill my ex, so I'm messing around, uh, bullying a, a small woman. He was a oh, coward. Oh, he's bullying you. Yeah, and manhandling me. And you never called the cops on him? I did, but by the time the cop come, everything been calmed down. I tried to get him arrested, but they they said they had to see bruises and stuff on my face to do that. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, That's a shame. It is. That's why I. I you know, that's why I get so mad so quick. All my life been meant abuse. Yeah. Right. What I see in the, one of the listeners was asking sort of, what is, you, you're disabled, technically, mm, correct? Yes. Yeah, 100%? 100%? I don't know 100%, but like how I say, I'm, I'm so intelligent. Right. You know? Yeah. So what, what, what does the Maybe state we, recognize your disability well, as? Well, they, they test me. I don't give a fuck who said the borderline of mild retardation. That's but I don't really? think you're retarded at all. That's no. what I'm saying. Some fuckers... Test me out at some Lanneman Regional Center. And it certainly ain't physical. What kind of center? I show you a dance, Lanneman, Frank Lanneman Regional Center in uh, Los Angeles. Right. Really they good. test me out some fucking psychiatry. But I guess the upside is, I don't think there's anything wrong with you, but the upside is that you, <laughs> it, it makes you money. Yeah, I wish right? I could. Yeah. Yeah, but your mind, I'm, your mind's very quick. I mean, when yeah, you're going at it with I'm people. Like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh, I may steal money. <laughs> Yeah, well, why not? Yeah, Certainly. Yeah. I... On the black side. <laughs> right, let's talk to Joe in Toledo. Joe, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Joe. Alice, I love you. You're my, oh, you're uh -huh. my favorite. Okay. Um, I just don't like when that fat fuck already starts fucking Hey, you, fuck you. So fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. So fuck you. I bet you I look like shit to yourself. You got a lot of fucking ass, but you don't look like you. your goddamn self, you ugly, short, dick bastard. I'm a Mexican. Don't I fuck don't with Artie, okay? I'm shit. sick of this shit. So fuck you, shorty. Well, at least Artie got a job. What are you doing? At home? Sitting on your fat ass doing nothing but making calls? You, well, at least Artie got a job, oh lazy Who's bastard. Fuck? So like fuck you. you. Fuck you. You fuck come you. down in this studio, I'll show you what kind of woman I am. I'll kick your nuts off. You do do shit. Well, come down here. I swear to God, come down here. Come down, I'll show you. Now you stay the fuck away from Marty. Thank you, but this is great. I have a bodyguard. Hey, hey, Alice. I've always when you get so upset, mm -hmm. explosively angry. Mm -hmm. Have you always been able to control yourself physically, or yes, have you ever struck out at people? I have done that many times. But that's yeah. not a problem. Like you don't just if people get you mad on the street, will you hit them? Or? Yes, I will. They make me. Yeah, I'll hit them. And Alice, I know you're a big fan of the I show. <laughs> I know you're a big fan of the show, but as you listen, mm -hmm. who gets on your nerves the most of everybody? I know you love everybody, okay. but sometimes you get angry, but tell me. Okay, all right. The people that doesn't appreciate how 
giving them the name and the fame. People that know him around the world. One of them is Eric the actor. Thank that you. little shit. I'm with you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Bob. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, thank you, you. You don't think Eric. You don't think <laughs> Eric. You. you don't think Eric appreciates you. anything. Not the deep. I don't understand. It was asshole before they came to the show. They become more asshole. They should be thankful that they were discovered this way. Cause over seven million fans are listening to me right now, and those who don't like being on it, he shouldn't die. So, I'm telling you, uh, Eric the actor. Elephant off of wherever that fag, thick sucking fag name is. <laughs> I don't like them. And 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 uh, high pitch Eric, I like you, but you don't use the show to fuck up people lives. You understand? Are you hearing me? I don't care if you call in. I'll be ready to fight with you. I was the only one who ever liked your fat nigger lip ass. <laughs> how do you feel about How do you feel about Jeff the Drunk? I like Jeff. You like him? I like him. How about how do you feel about uh uh Jeff Levy the vomit guy? I like him too, but he's disgusting. Do you like uh do you feel the way you feel about Eric the actor? Do you feel that way towards anyone in the studio every day who's on the payroll? Do you think any of us uh, take Howard for granted and don't appreciate him? You. Me, but I do. You, you think yeah. I do? Yeah, I'm sorry. I love you, but you do <laughs> take However, for granted some time. You right. never go to sleep on the show. If, uh, you, if you have to go to bed early every night that you have to come here the next day, take an early. Well, this is a great time, and I hate to reveal this on the wrap-up show. Those right. are pre-written bits where I fall asleep. Oh, I know. And I'm just being a, you know, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm acting a little That's bit That's the only there. thing I like, dislike about that. There's me nodding you off nodding the off. heroin. You should go to Now, have you early. ever seen liquid cocaine, and do you know where to I get it I don't even know what that is. I never did drug in my life. Right. Not I'm, even I'm alcohol. Saying in I'm a sissy. In your neighborhood, you've never alcohol. seen liquid uh, cocaine? Never. Mm -hmm. Never. Hey, Alice, uh, I, ask I got a question for you. So. You've been a big fan of the show forever, and, right. and it's been a long time coming here. So as a fan who listens to the show, you know, you listen to the show, uh -huh. you listen to the wrap-up show, you listen to the repeats, what did you think, not of just the studio, mm -hmm. but what did you think, you, you've got a chance to see the whole operation. What's your right. impression? About all of you guys? What did you, what did you th was it what you expected? It, it, like, does this place look nicer than you thought it would? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Howard Stern, he's the king. He never do nothing wrong. He always do things right to help his employer and care about his employer. But sometimes, y'all disrespect him, go over the line a little bit, and I don't like it. Yeah, that. but you're honest about everything. Even, right. And you'll even give Howard shit. I want to uh -huh. ask this uh, of okay. you. What do you feel about Howard's policy with uh, he not getting everyone a gift this year and us getting a Christmas sort of uh, grab bag going? Well, you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. Only... The blessing thing y'all should give each other is love. You can't buy love. There's no price on love. You can't sell Material. it either. Exactly. That's right. Material thing is nothing. I tried to buy a TV with love, and I got a fucking hairy no. eyeball. Right, so you think, Howard, uh, it's okay that he's not getting everyone a gift and he's I just... I don't think so. God, uh, Howard Stern is not a god. He's not a Santa Claus. Please. You can't expect <laughs> everything from that poor child. Yeah. Right. I'm right. sorry. What do you think of Sal and the way he feels about Howard? Yeah, well, I don't know what to say about Sal, but I don't think Sal really that nothing y'all think he is in real life. He's not like that in real life. He's just doing it for the show. Do you think he's dumb? Or, no, I don't think he's dumb either. Really? You think no. he knows the difference between pneumonia and ammonia? Uh, I don't even know that myself, even though I never caught neither one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll learn that when you catch it, right? Uh, yeah. Am I right, darling? I don't know. Now, do you want to fuck Greg as well, like Robin? Do you uh, see Greg right here, Carmel? Do you like him? Yeah, he's cute. Would you fuck him? No. I no. wouldn't fuck neither one of you in this room because I'm not that kind of person. Are you attracted to anyone on the show sexually? Yeah. Who? All the males on the show. <laughs> now, is there anyone who gets your blood? Uh, is there blood? somebody that you like? Who's your type of all the guys in the, in the group? Who's your type? All of you guys? Well, I'm talking about like Fred, Artie. Richard Sal, me, Benji. Like, who's your type? Well, uh, don't, well don't, don't get defensive, but I put the Italian first. Italians. Uh, Italians, yeah. If I, what if I came on to you this afternoon and we, no. I, is there a shot at me getting anywhere with you, like sexually or no? no You're done with sex? Kiss and tuck, but no fucking. Making out? <laughs> yeah, no fucking. No fucking. No. I, I, so I could feel your boobs and everything? No. Oh. <laughs> Just make out? Yeah, we could kiss. Oh, yeah? yeah. Tongue kiss? You don't want to put your tongue in this. Why not? I'm nasty looking. Oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah. I, the question is, would you put your tongue in this? Yeah. For real. I mean my ass, right here. No, not that. No, I, I cut that out. That. I cut that out. 
Yeah. All right. Well, as an Italian, I'm honored. Well, Amy, okay. and... I, I made out with Alice a couple years ago. That's right. We went on a date. Yeah, that's right. We had a good time. Then we binge. Yeah, then we ended up in the hotel. Right, and I punched bed. you in the nut and you threw that bobble on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but just. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Amy in Erie, Pennsylvania. Welcome to the wrap up show. Hi, guys. I really enjoy the mornings. I'm a drug rep, so I'm always in the car. So thanks for getting me through the day. But Can you get liquid I, cocaine? I, yeah. I cannot. No. Right. Go ahead. No. What's, your, what's your question, Donna? My question for Alice. Alice, I love you. Uh -huh. And I want to know you hate it in Los Angeles so much. Why don't you move back home? I wish I could, but it takes money. New York is so expensive, it's a shame. But can't you get. You, you sort of seem to have like a subsidized thing going. In California, can't, can't you apply for Section 8 housing here in New oh, York? Oh, shit. It, I'm still applying for Section I've been waiting for seven years. Yeah, it takes a long time. Yeah, it do. Is it Los Angeles ex expensive, too, though? Yes, right? it is. It is. It's more spread out in L.A. It's easier to find uh, affordable housing That's in Los right. Angeles. It That's really right. That's right. Yeah. It is. Let's go to Keith in Philly. Keith, you're on the wrap-up show. How you guys doing? Hey, Keith. Uh, Artie, why don't you uh, give Crazy Alice like a hug or something like that? You know? Fuck you, bitch. We hugged uh, in before. Yeah. I gotta tell you, when we, Al did, we gave her a nice hug, we when, hugged. It was nice. Mm -hmm. When Alice got here, when mm -hmm. she first got here before she went on, I gave her a huge hug. I don't know. I have like a huge effect for like she leaves me a ton of voicemails every day. Right. I listen to him. I feel like I talk to Alice every day on some level. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It was really good to see you, Alice. Thank like you, I said, give you a big hug. It was good to see you. Thank you, bro. I really was happy to have her in the studio. Oh. <laughs> Did Ronnie give you a hard time in the hallway, Alice? We had some fun. I, I stalled off on a wrong foot with him, but I guess. You, weren't, you wouldn't be the first. Is there a right <laughs> foot to start off with Ronnie? I mean. yeah, on the end, I still, it's okay. It's kind of... All right, let's take one last call for okay. Alice. Gary in White Plains, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, Gary. All right, listen, uh, well, first of all, it's the first time I was uh, called into the wrap-up show, and uh, I really like you guys a lot. Lucky us. And I want to ask uh, Artie a question. What? How you doing there, Artie? Good, Gary. Listen, uh, would you consider hiring Alice okay. and firing Teddy? Absolutely. I'd consider high, uh, firing Teddy and hiring a piece of plywood at this point. Yeah, well. No, I don't. No, well, I wouldn't fire Teddy, but because uh, Teddy was just I, I, I asked Teddy uh, during the weekend. You know, I said, "Hey, look, I think I pay you pretty well for this job." And then Teddy said, "Well, sometimes I'm up at 10 a.m. on a Sunday doing emails," oh. and uh, I really opened my eyes, Ted. Have you ever? Fucker. Have you ever mentioned how much? <laughs> Have I ever mentioned what? How much you pay, Teddy? No, no, that's you not, not that's, your business. That's not anybody's business. That's but none of your damn business. I guarantee you, people you. know what they. Fuck you, bitch! You get off his his shit. It, it don't concern you. Stay the fuck away from him. Hey, I'll be stick your head me. into a toilet. You don't tell me. Yeah, go ahead and stick me. your head in the toilet, bitch, and stay away from Artie. Shut me. the fuck up. Listen, you retard. Shut up, you bitch. Go stick Listen. your head up in your mother's pussy. That's a <laughs> toilet. I got light bulbs Shut up, you cocksucker. You. Shut up, cocksucker. Just stay the fuck away from Artie. Did you hear what I said? You ain't his balls. You, your IQs name ain't Howard Stern, cocksucker. So stay away from you, loser. I'm a loser. Yeah, yeah, you're on the phone. Artie at work. What the fuck you doing holding your little dick in your hand, masturbating? Sure. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, thanks for your call. No way. Uh, tune in tomorrow. I'll, tomorrow I'll tell everybody what I pay it. To. Okay. No, they did. No, man. So, that. Alice, what's your plan for the uh, rest of the day? I know you got that show tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to rest in. It's the show tonight. I'm going to go to the Empire State Fair, but I see that. <laughs> You gotta go to jump out. No, you, you want to go to the top of the air? I would love to. I haven't done that. I do that once a year. Right. And it's fun. Do you, you want to go, go up there? It? Oh, it's up to you because you're busy. What? What was time? Boy, this is like sleepless in Seattle. Because yeah. <laughs> then I could take it to uh, I could take it to the Yankee store and then I'll uh -huh. take it to the top of the Empire State. When you Artie was right, by the way. You don't have time today. Artie, you, you can for like a hundred bucks, you can't get anything at the Yankee store. You, uh, have, no, you have to you drop can't. some coin today. <laughs> you know, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow or Wednesday. How about this? I guarantee we'll take okay. our TV too. Uh -huh. I guarantee Guarantee tomorrow or Wednesday, uh -huh. I will take you to uh, the top of the Empire State Building because I like doing wait? I like doing that myself. Okay. And we'll go to the Yankee store. Would you like to know what that's going to run you, you? By the way, thank you. Empire, you're not going to already already Lang is not going to wait at the Empire State Building line, so you have to buy the Express that's Pass. That's what we're going to do for fifty right. bucks. Okay. Imagine. No, what? Well, yeah, that is that is a rip off. Right. But I, I went to go with my I went to go with my kids and my family. It's going to be like three hundred bucks to go to the top of the Empire State. Now, Alice. 
would you be offended if I got the express ticket and I just bought you the regular ticket and waited for you at the top? It's up to you. It's your money. Well, no, because the Yankee store is going to be the bigger hit. It is. Right, it is. What do you want to get at the Yankee store? Shirts? Uh, what anything do you, like? you can get. I don't, I like the, I like the jersey. You like a jersey? Yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. Well, we'll do that, then. Yeah, it's like okay. 300. Okay. Yeah, hey, we'll, we'll do that. Hey, John, okay. if it's cool real quick, I want to whisper something to Alice. Because she told me a story a couple years ago, but it's been so long that maybe now she's comfortable talking about it. And, and if she is, it's a very interesting story. Right, go, go, but can John, I just ask her real quick? John and I will talk for a minute. We'll talk to Artie for a minute. Artie, the Yankee store is going to be, I bet you walk out of there spending at Hunter least, least, at least three to 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. I swear to God. Home and away, you, you away jerseys. You can't get a frame there for under 50 bucks. I was thinking I'll drop a G. Because the other thing is, that's the only type of clothes I buy. That's like, you know, Abercrombie and Fitch for me. That's you know? Artie's Bloomingdale's. <laughs> well, yeah, sort of. So I'll go in there and I'll go, you know, I'll be like Rodney in uh, Caddyshack at the I'll take two of those, three of these. Give me two of those naked lady tees. Huh. Orange balls. Give me two boxes. <laughs> So what's what? the verdict, Ben? Well, it's it's a it's a horrible incident that Alice went through, but she oh. said that she's comfortable talking about it. Okay. You were at a Met game, sweetie? <laughs> no, don't. No, don't, it was. I just like Ben. Hold on, Dennis Baba and Blue. Philly. That's why I hate Yankee no, fans. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Baba Blue. I'm I'm a Yankee. This happened a couple years ago, and, mm -hmm. and everything's been proven wrong. But Alice yeah. a couple years ago had some accusations against her with yeah. her son. And what were they? Oh. Damn, that just shows like accusations of abuse. Oh, it's a it's a fucking evil world. Like I said, fucking evil people. They falsely accused me and my son having sex with my cousin. Who did this? Some fucking evil nigga coon. Mm. They're gonna be punished and burning here when she dies. But wait a second. So, so, but but first of all. I'm not even sure that sex with your cousin is illegal. It's probably crazy. I don't want to do that. My nephew, my oh. nephew. Wait, who, get, all right, help me explain. Help me. Okay, let me make it her clear. Her nephew accused her uh, of having sex with her oh, son. No, no, oh, I'm, no, 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 I'm sorry. Back up a little bit, Art. Right. Okay, the the nigga coon that, that, you know, the people that keeps children in the home, false right. and, false and family? Yeah. This nigga bitch. Went in the courthouse. She kept us, my nephew away from me. She accused me and my retarded son molesting my nephew. Oh, they're saying that you and your son molested your nephew. Yeah. Okay, I got oh. it. I'm not like that. I hate any. I hate shit like that. Well, first of all, I know you don't like sex so much, so no. I wouldn't imagine that you, that would be what you'd be into. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm, so, not, I'm not evil. So how did the charges get dropped? It must, first of all, what happened? What did you go through? Okay, I'm gonna make the story short. I was living in Van Nuys, California, living in a mixed neighborhood, and this spick next door to me, giving us a hard time, and I called the police, and then they gave him an idea to, to file a false allegation against me, and that's what got me in trouble. Some black bitch came to my home, she was an officer, took our kids away from because of all the false allegations and phone calls this spick was making, and that's make the story short, we got into the system. And then when we try to get our family back together, this fucking nigga coon who had my nephew, she went into the courthouse. They wonder why people don't like blacks. Okay. She went into the courthouse and filed these false allegations against me to destroy me from getting my child back, my, my child and my nephew back. That's what killed my sister. She, she got cancer from stress behind this coon. They're responsible for our lives, so she put in the allegation that me and my retarded son was molesting my cousin. That's how it started. But what did, what did the cousin say? Did, now he, was, he was only four. Oh. Four years old, and my, and my son was only nine when this shit took place. So how did you, how did you get out of the whole thing? I, I never did. Today, right now, my nephew's still with this nigga bitch who's going to fry in hell when she dies. Like a social worker? No. Your, ne your nephew's with a social worker? No, no I, I don't even want to give her this name. They called it the false, foster care foster mother. Care. Okay. Well, I call her a foster care hell whore. Do you get to see your son? I, I see my son every week, and I call him um, three to four times a week. So, okay. you ha so you get to go and see your son, but you have to see this woman who, in essence, uh, took your son away? You Is that what, what you're saying? She put a, she put a restraint on on me. Right. I can't see. I haven't seen him since 1997. I haven't seen who? The nephew. My nephew. Gotcha. Oh, so he's 14 now. Yeah, he's 20. Oh, that's 20 odd years old. Math, right? But uh, four. four. Yeah, yeah. He's uh -huh. 20. He was born in 87. Wow, so that is news. Yeah. 
your uh, you've, been, you've had a lot. Of, what, I've told you. Hey, Alice, your nephew what lives are the, with George Foster. What are the best uh-huh. things that have happened to you in your life? <laughs> huh? Like, what are the good things that have happened to you in your life? Number one, you guys are a blessing. How about buying that blouse? And, <laughs> and yeah, that too. I feel like like not a lot of good things have happened for you. Uh-huh. She's got she's going to the Yankee store and going to hit the Empire State yeah. Building. With That's Arden. right. Join yeah. the club, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah, it's all shit. Yeah, it is. It's all you shit. Right. Then you die. Right. Like now that your sister's gone. Yeah. Who who do you have that you can emotionally connect to? <laughs> Nobody now. Yeah. Nobody now. That's why I'm so bitter. Yeah, you can emotionally connect to me. <laughs> 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 there go Henry Hill again. Uh, no, stop right. fucking selling. What do you want? <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. Alice, thank you so much thank for coming you. by the wrap-up okay. show. Okay, great love to you, see you. I Great love job you today. too. Bye. When we come back, a little bit of Robin and Greg, more about Alice's appearances, the Springsteen concert, everything that Ooh. happened on today's show. I can't wait to tell uh, Al, uh, Crazy Alice that our roof is actually the Empire State Building tomorrow. All right. <laughs> you listen to the wrap-up yeah, show on yeah. Howard 100, Howard 101. Welcome back. Okay, so uh, Crazy Alice, she was on the wrap-up show. I'll start with that. <laughs> and I guess, Artie, you were on it, too. I was on for a little while. She is. She really is, a, I don't know, she's like a breath of something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, I'm not sure what the breath is. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's a positive breath. <laughs> All right, uh, they asked her a couple of questions on the wrap-up show. If you missed it, um, they asked her who in the whack pack she didn't like. I know you're a big fan of the show, but as you listen, mm-hmm. who gets on your nerves the most of everybody? The people that doesn't appreciate how giving them the name and the fame to what people that know them around the world, one of them is Eric the actor. Thank that you. little shit. I'm with you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Fuck. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, Thank you, you. You don't think Eric you don't think <laughs> Eric you. you don't think Eric Thank appreciates you. anything? Not the deep I don't Understand? They was asshole before they came to the show. They become more asshole. They should be thankful that they was discovered this way. Cause over seven million fans are listening to me right now, and those who don't like being on it, it shouldn't die. So, I'm telling you, uh, Eric the actor, or whatever that fag. Dick sucking fag name here. <laughs> I don't like him. And 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 a uh, high pitch Eric, I like you, but you don't use the show to fuck up people live. You understand? Are you hearing me? I don't care if you call in. I'll be ready to fight with you. I was the only one who ever liked your fat nigger lip ass. Well, there you go. High pitch wow. Eric and uh, Eric, Eric the, the actor. Eric the midget actor. Uh, <laughs> two of her least favorite people on the show. Uh, also, uh, we asked her, well, not me, but the guys asked her, is there anyone else who you think doesn't appreciate the show? And this was kind of shocking. Do you think any of us take Howard for granted and don't appreciate him? You. Me? Uh, I do? You, you think yeah. I do? Yeah, I'm sorry. I love you, but you do <laughs> take Howard for granted sometimes. You right. never go to sleep on the show. <laughs> if, you, if you have to go to bed early every night that you have to come here the next day, Take her early. Well, this is a great time, and I hate to reveal this on the wrap-up show. Those right. are pre-written bits where I fall asleep. Oh, I know. And I'm just... Why didn't you say to Alice, uh, aren't you on SSI? What are you talking to me about a work ethic? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was arguing with somebody uh, about Artie, and she said to them, at least he has a job. Yeah, well, right. she, she, well she says that to the callers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, with me, she's tough. She's tough love face to face. I mean, you know, she did make a good. You know, she made a lot of good points. House, like, you know, really, that is disrespectful to fall asleep at your work. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it's not something I'm proud of. You know, kind of made me realize that uh, you disrespect the show by falling asleep. But I always I laugh thought Artie had a great cover because I was like, really, those are great scripted bits. Then you know, we got I together should, should at a creative laugh. meeting and was like, you know, especially when they blow that air horn and wake you up. <laughs> well, there you go. See, so I'm, you know. You're providing it. Right. Uh, you could do that. Being a, you know, uh, I'm, I'm acting a little That's bit That's the only there. thing I like, dislike about that. Is me nodding off, off the heroin. All right, there you go. And then uh, Alice and Artie are having some sort of date. Yeah, is that the day you guys are going to get together? Nothing's set in stone, Robin. I, I don't know. See. So, Alice, what's your plan for the uh, rest of the day? I know you got that show tonight. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to rest in. It's the show tonight. I'm going to go to the Empire State Building, but I said it. <laughs> You gotta go and to the jump on. I know. You, you want to go to the top of the I would love to. I haven't done that. I do that once a year. Right. And it's fun. Do you, you want to go, go up there? Oh, it's up to you because you're busy. What? What? Uh-huh. I guarantee tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh huh. 
I will take you to uh, the top of the Empire State Building because I like doing that myself. Okay. And we'll go to the Yankee store. Would you like to know what Ooh, that's going to run you, you, by the way? Thank you. The, you're not going to, Artie, Artie Lang is not going to wait at the Empire State Building line, so you have to buy the Express that's Pass. That's what we're going to do. For 50 right. bucks. Okay. Can you imagine? No, well, yeah, that is, that is a rip off. Right. But I, I went to go with my, I went to go with my kids and my family. It was going to be like 300 bucks to go to the top of the Empire State Building. Now, Alice, would you be offended if I got the Express ticket and I just bought you the regular ticket and waited for you at the <laughs> top? It's up to you. It's your money. Uh, are you really going to go with her? I mean, yeah, if we get, uh, if she's around, and uh, I know Howard TV wanted to make sure they, of course, were involved, so we got to coordinate that. But the Yankee store, you know, is right across the street yeah. from us, so that's not that big of a deal. And I do like going to the top of the Empire State Building, but that fucking Yankee store, man, you let a broad loose in there, holy living Christ. I, mean, I didn't know it was so expensive. Oh, we'll, yeah. We'll limit her to one item. Okay. So like a kid. <laughs> yeah. You can have one item. You can get one thing in here with the Yankee <laughs> emblem on it. He's not kidding, you know that now that I think about it, I think it was me that pulled the crazy out. Is it the one where she's talking about cousin Brucey? Yeah, well, cousin Brucey was on here last week, and then, but I'm not sure. I, I mean, I don't mind playing negative stuff about me. I, I assure you, I, I play anything that's negative. But this one, I don't even know what she's talking about. I just you, thought her imitation of cousin Brucey was pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, I heard the replay of uh, cousin Brucey. And when it comes down, cousin Busey, cousin Busey, <laughs> <And Gary Busey. laughs> cousin Gary Busey, shared a replay of Gary Busey. <laughs> I can't believe I did the whole cousin Brucey, int Brucey, the cousin Brucey interview, and I didn't do. E I know. I, I, I know. I, that's amazing. I was too busy asking questions. So, more power to you, cousin Busey. You first time you had sex with a thirty-year-old black pussy. Oh, Gay Howard can handle a black woman because he's not man enough. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I fucked a black woman for the first time. <laughs> More power to you, Cousin Busey. Cousin Busey. <laughs> but, uh, and here's, then she started ripping me again. She calls me Gay Howard because she feels that offends me. Somehow I'm not offended. But I don't know why she's calling you gay, Howard. Well, she because really, I call her Crazy Alice. Oh, she doesn't like it, so she, she gave me a name. She really honestly thinks you're gay. Because no. I was on the phone with her. Me and Benji actually prank called her yesterday. I called her back to get a consent. And she goes, she goes off the record, Richard, just, is Howard really gay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, then you must be his lover, so you're not going to reveal. Yeah, she's the only one who's actually figured out the truth. I will. I know you're a very busy man, but I just wanted to share my thoughts about what happened today between Art and Sal and your boss. That gay boss ain't nothing but a bully. This motherfucker been through a lot with white people who hate his ass because he was a Jew when he was little. And blacks didn't like him because he looked funny. And I just wanted to share that with him on the air that I want to thank Artie for uh, what he did for me last week. I don't know what uh, fucking gay house thinking about me. Because he get, think that every man wants to fuck him. Has he looked in the mirror lately? He don't. If he looked like Brad Pitt, I wouldn't want his fucking ass. So don't think it's because I want to thank Artie. I want to do something to him. Gay Howard, I don't want. I don't want Artie that way. You do, okay? And you fucked up on two uh, strong Italian males. Because what is she talking about? Uh, I was sort of getting it, and then I lost it. Right. So gay. Full of shit what you've been through when you were little. I don't care. You never went back on your show no more. You fucked up between two people. And then fuck you. Everybody talk about everybody on the show. No a victim, okay? Uh, mm. The one part I did get was <laughs> you seem to be implying that she wanted to, to sleep with Artie. Oh. And she's saying that not everything is about that. You only think that because you must want to sleep with Artie. Because I'm gay. Right. Oh, all right. Now I got it. Gee, that was an important call. <laughs> and uh, she doesn't like Italians fighting with each other. That's the other thing oh. I'm getting, that Sal and Artie are fighting. Is, and it was and my it's fault? it's all your fault. Yes. Oh, it's my fault You pitted fighting. the Italians against each other. Oh. And we're back with the Jack and Rod Show. Welcome to Wacky, Weird, and Exciting Wednesday on the Jack and Rod Radio Show. Today's special guest is author of Ministering to God. This guest says that we are surrounded by evil spirits, and he can perform an exorcism on our show. Let's hear it for Dr. Kawaya. How you doing, doctor? I'm fine. How are you? Great, great. And you know, doctor, we actually have somebody in the studio who is possessed. Yes. She seems to be possessed by some kind of demon. Her name is Alice Blair. Let's say hello to Alice Blair. Hello, Alice. Hello. Hello, Alice. 
Uh-huh. What's going on in your life? Uh, what happens to you? I'm still in hell around junkies and people shit and pissing and, 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 and throwing up on the floor smoking crack and cigarette in my hallway and they're coming in my house. Yeah, that's a demon. Those are demonic spirits. You know what? I'm in the bathroom right yeah. where I take a shit. Yeah, you, you can be set free, Alice. You can be set free. Those are demonic speeds. They are trying to take possession of you. Okay, go ahead. Alice, in the name of Jesus, I command you, come out of her now. Kill the hell! Come out in the name of Jesus, the Fuck son of the living God. The you have to come out now. Fuck you! I don't want to listen to a loser. Shut the fuck up! No, I said come out. Leave. I Go. hate you. I hate Go. you. I hate Go. you. I mean, mean it. Go in the name of Jesus. Now. I hate you. I hate you. No, leave. Go. Go. I hate you, fucking cocksucking bitch. Let the fire of God destroy you completely right now in the name of Jesus. Be on the fire. Let you be burnt from right to Hello? Right from there. Hello? Wait, wait. Uh, uh, doctor, she's, she's talking normal. Hello? Uh, Alice. Who is this? This is uh, Dr. Leonard Kayu. I'm, I'm, I'm a preacher. I'm, I'm, if who? I'm a servant of God. I came here to help you. Now, I want you to say this with me. Alice. Uh-huh. Say, devil, in the name of Jesus. If who? Jesus. Uh-huh. Say, Jesus. Okay. No, say it. Say, Jesus. Uh-huh. No, say Jesus with me, please. If who? <laughs> say, Jesus. Uh, oh, 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 all right. Say Jesus. Now go ahead. I said say Jesus. Who? Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Can you say it? Who? I plead the blood of Jesus. I don't give a shit. In the name of Jesus. Wow. That was a pretty good exorcism, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I don't know if we got anywhere. No, they got nowhere because <laughs> she wouldn't say Jesus. We didn't have that in the tape live. Right. right. We got to get Alice to say Jesus next yeah. time she's in. Call that guy back. Yeah, Sal loves busting balls, man. He is the best at it. I got to say. Crazy Alice called here the other day with a voicemail uh -huh. where she was. I, I couldn't even figure out what she was screaming about, but someone interpreted for me. She was saying that there was something wrong with me because when she was here in the studio, Howard TV didn't add her show to the Howard TV menu. Really? Mm. So then Sal and Richard called up and started busting her balls about it. Here, here, here Here's the um, here's the voicemail. Let me play you the voicemail first. See if I can find this. Yeah, she was mad that her show didn't air, I remember. Yeah, that. meanwhile, I think her show does air, but... Anyway, I don't know. Here, here, so here's the... Uh, you can't make heads or tails out of what she's talking about. Oh, yeah, Sam, another thing about gay, how keep, the Jew boy keep telling people on the air that you want to have sex with him, want to fuck him and that shit like that. He wish he can fuck you. And he <laughs> wish that he can... Uh, you wish that he can uh, have sex with you. So the motherfucker... Is a queer. Now, I'm sorry what happened between you and all this, Sam, because your gay boss wished that you could have fuck him in his big flabby juke kike ass. Oh, bye bye. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and this is, she went on a weird tirade about me, and then I guess it was Richard and Benji called Crazy Alice. So they just started busting her balls about this show that she once, you know, aired. Hello? Alice, it's Frank Del Michio from In Demand. Yeah. We heard that you had tried to contact us about your cable service. Yes, I am. All the shows on the, on, uh, on the TV but mine. I just want to know why. Well, I believe you. Actually, um, we don't plan on putting that episode up on the air. Why? I hear in California, why? Well, because we don't really think anybody gives a shit about seeing you. You know what? You're going to fuck yourself, cocksucker. I'm going to suck on your mama's titty. Excuse me, Alice. And eat shit, you understand, Alice. you cock-sucking bitch. Alice, <laughs> hello. Hi, hi, Alice. My name's uh, Barbara Weinstein. Um, yeah. This matter was trans... Who's that you, Benji? Yeah, he's got a voice. Whoa. Now, um, I thought it was a chick. Wow. Boy, that's like... That's yeah. pretty good. You say Thanks, <laughs> The first one was... was uh, Rich. Rich. Right? Yeah. For to me. Yeah. My associate has told me that you uh, are upset. Yeah. Alice, you have to understand that 
um, many of the decision makers in a large media company are Jewish. You know, well, you know what, bitch? Shut the fuck up and run. Help your pussy right now. Right <laughs> now. Alice, I'd like us you to come. Cut, cut. Shut the fuck up and go straight to hell with the devil. The mother you're going to hell with. No, and, Alice. And tell, and tell Hitler, I say, hello and congratulations when you get down there, bitch. <laughs> well, that's just a nasty remark. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, I didn't know that was you, Benji. That's the, now, what do you want to say? We have a possible solution because... I don't think it's right not to air your episodes. Dude, I don't give a damn cunt. So I don't have, care. have two possible I, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck. What the fuck is that show and show up in your big pussy and stick your dog between them and suck your wet pussy? Now don't call you no more. No, Alice, fuck. Alice, I have a solution. Fuck off. Take your titty and suck paws and throw the Alice, Get your son and do it. Alice, you're, you're merely hurting my feelings. I don't, don't air. I don't give a shit. You motherfucker. Now don't call you no more, you cunt. Alice, you're really hurting my feelings. He just likes being a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what what kind of effect wow. is that? Yeah, that's pretty good. It was, you know, with the harmonizer, and yeah. I just did it in my voice a little bit. That's a good setting, <laughs> that harmonizer. And then uh, Richard was Frank Del Michio. <laughs> yeah, that was right up there with my Grandma Caprio impression. Frank Del Michio. Speaking of that, I have to play you this. Crazy Alice called up over the weekend. You know, she leaves voicemail. Mm -hmm. She is so angry at Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Good for her. Planet two inches. Arnold Schwarzenegger called into our show and said that he wants to move the Earth two inches away from the sun. You know, two more inches away from the yeah, sun to end global, global warming, warming, and they're yeah. going to do it for rockets, and they're going to spend a lot of money doing it. Anyway, listen how pissed off Alice is. I say, oh, I heard about Arnold Schwarzenegger going to try to fight against nature. So I love Arnold Schwarzenegger as an actor, but he's stupid as a man. Yeah. So don't fuck with nature, because you don't get those motherfucking kills to try to move something that only God can move. Let them go up there. I hope God kill every one of them. Don't fuck with nature, assholes. Wow. Well, let me tell you That's something. That's crazy. A lot of people felt that way, but I'll tell you what. I agree with the governor's plan, and I think it makes a lot of I sense. Think Hello? 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 Oh, who is this? Uh, my name is Riley Martin. Is who? My name is Riley Martin. Drop dead, you cocksucker. Uh, hey, kid. Look here. Fuck you! Straight there on the fucking father! Well, oh, there you okay, whatever. Shut the fuck up, ugly! Uh, hey, this, this is bullshit, man. Fuck you, cocksucker! You fucking dark. You suck dick, don't you? Yeah, you think. You jerk. Cocksucker! You jealous little petty bastard. I hate you, my fucking cocksucking bitch. Look, my darling. Fuck you. I don't want to listen to a loser. Shut the fuck up. Hey, you lame butt-fucking cocksucker. Fuck what that nigga coon said. First of all, uh, crazy Alice, who really should be changed to angry Alice. Yes. Mm. She, I think she'd like that. First she starts yelling fag over and over and i'm not even oh yeah because she's upset that artie doesn't want to say the word fag and <laughs> artie just, can't say i want to say it i can't i'm i'm supposed to cut a psa yeah richard heard the show that they bullshit humba when it comes to christmas and i heard joe takei want to get Artie to pay a hundred dollars every time to use the word fag 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 well fuck you where, where was my human rights when a fucking bunch of jiggaboos Took my life apart. So fuck the faggot, fuck the faggot, fag, faggot, fag, fag, fag to hell, and have a fag, unhappy Christmas, faggot, fag, f a g, fag, fag, fag. Yeah, angry, <laughs> angry, angry. A uh, blue eye. Uh, oh, and then now Crazy Alice is mad at you too. Oh dear, what did I do to her? She's mad about you and uh, Jim Florentine. <laughs> Hi, Richard. How you doing? Say hello to my friend. I'll see y'all back live. And I just want to let you know that lesbian Robin, all that bullshit, you got a boyfriend. That bass don't want your black ass. Get away from there. Okay, bye. See you later. And call that stupid phone. That was fair. Will Richard do something like that? Get out with fire. Call out that stupid phone. <laughs> You fucking cocksuckers. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other day, your cell phone was going on and on and on. <laughs> She's got a point there. 
It went what up happened? twice. No, it was a very key, very critical moments <laughs> in the right. show. That's right. Something very poignant was happening, and the whole mood was ruined. Have you learned to turn it off now? Uh, no. No. Who was calling you? Uh, somebody who was trying to get a hold of me because an appointment had been canceled. I see. All right. And here's, uh, if you want to hear Crazy Alice or Green with Scott the Pace about dogs? Sure. Yeah, Richard, these dog-loving freaks. You think I would pay $10,000 for a fucking dog? Hey, give me a break. $10,000 on a child. And they get, and, and some little crock crying. Oh, that was Scott's wife, engineer's wife. She cried like it's a child. It's a fucking dog, stupid people. You don't pay ten thousand dollars for no dumbass animal on a child, yeah. And when it comes to Scott's to pay, you right. That lesbian Robin didn't pay no more. That attention to all that heart until it died. She paid people to take it, but she never went up there to see him. You're right, Scott to pay. Scott engineer, you want to get rid of that dog, get rid of her. Once you pay $10,000 for that dog, that motherfucker will get sick and die in a way. <laughs> get rid of that thing. Right. Can you imagine if he spends the ten grand on the thing? Gets hit by a car. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Unreal. I think it's crazy it's Alice. Professional it's crazy right. Alice yelling about Ralph. Uh, this is for bare face, cock sucking faggot Ralph. I may be down, but I'm not out. I don't have to suck no billion dollar queer to get to the top. You suck Gay Howard's dick, and you're sucking this producer dick out here that got his house burned down. And another thing, you you fucking faggot. Yeah, I say faggot, Artie. Faggot, F A G, faggot Ralph. I do not have to live like a whore to survive. And I didn't say all black women had dog never, you dumb bitch. When you laid up with that man that day sucking his dick, you didn't hear good. Get the dick out of you. I said some black women got dog never, you dumb faggot. I hate you, motherfucker, shit push. Like God said, you won't be stepped in the kingdom. I may not even because I'm so bitter and angry. I don't know one thing she said. Yeah, I'm really not sure what she's talking about, but doesn't she's talking about me using people. Doesn't she, like, suck off the government and her retarded kid, too? Isn't it, like, in a home or something? I don't know what her situation is. Uh, and she's, like, living off the government. She's giving me a hard time? Well, there you go. At least go. I work hard for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, ex-wife is on the phone. Let's say hello. Oh, hello. Hi, honey. How are you? What that nigga coon said. <laughs> Now, you were married to Earthquake. What, 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 what is your beef with him? That's nigga. What? Fat fucking nigga. That's not no, polite, ma'am. Come on. Ma come on. Come on. Big face blowers. Oh. Well, listen. You got a nigga blood on you, motherfucker. Listen. Hey, that sound like him. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm not going to listen to this. What? what? I hate him. I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> See, I need some protection. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let it go. I don't think that was your answer <laughs> at all. I, really, I truly don't. Well, I listen. hope not. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> it. You know what? That's somebody's ex-wife. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Alice trashes Robin. Alice is mad at Alice you. Can you motherfuckers come in my mouth? <laughs> I will. I know y'all gonna be off Monday. I don't know why for some fucking Mark Luther King birthday. Blacks never done nothing for me, so I don't feel good about bringing up the history of black people. I do let you know, I just saw the phone that old fat ass cheating, lost weight, Lesma Robin had. She had a phone in her hand, looked like mine. I'm gonna change it, cause I don't want nothing like her. I don't even want to be in her race, but I got no choice. So I just want to let you know she's a two-faced, black, jiggable, yeah, jiggable bitch. I say jiggable. That's what I feel about her. She heard me on the show, and then she told her to talk about me with your fucking queer gay owl and, and old bare face rap. So I'm going to change my phone. I just saw her black ass with the same phone I had. I think it's just another color. What is she talking about? <laughs> about her i don't recall well what is she you criticizing she has the same hair as she, you no phone. The phone she has the same phone a cell, cell phone. phone oh she saw when my phone was ringing i guess they showed 
the phone, no. and she has the same one, only a different color, and she doesn't even want a phone like mine. Wow. She does not She doesn't like... want to be in my race, but she doesn't have any sales. You know, Howard, for, for Martin Luther King Day, we There's should your just... your phone, Robin, yes. For Martin Luther King Day, we should just play on a loop that tape of that girl going, Come on, you motherfuckers, please cover my mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please come in my fucking mouth. Can I, can I take some juice? Shit. Please come in my mouth. My ass is whoa the fuck out. The Howard Stern Show recognizes Martin Luther King. All right, Gilbert Godfrey, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock at Caroline's in Broadway, Manhattan. Please, Robin, turn off your phone. Anyway, uh, here's some whack pack feedback. Uh, everyone is asking, should Gary have to wear the mask? Baba Booey, should he have to wear the mask when girls ride the Sibian? I don't really care what they say. I think he should. He wore Let it today. Let me tell you, today yeah. I was watching Gary. I was not watching Victoria. Yeah. It's one of the funniest things you will ever see. Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> that's why he wears it. <laughs> anyway, here's the whack pack commenting on whether or not Gary should wear a mask okay. when girls ride the Sibian for Howard TV. Whack pack feedback. Gary Delabate goes apeshit over wearing a mask, and the Whack Pack give their opinions. Hi, this is Renee the Retard. I think Gary Delabate should wear the mask so, so he doesn't spread germs everywhere. This is just a fucking jerk. Keep the motherfucking mask on, you big tooth motherfucker. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your face. Even the poor girls can't stand to look at you. So keep it on, motherfucker. Hi, this is Blue Iris, and I don't think that Gary should wear the mask because we like to watch his face as he rides the Sibian. And Gary, you can put those big fat lips on my pussy any day. This is Alice. I do not want Baba Boy to wear a fucking mask no more. No more mask, Baba Boy. You know what I feel about who should be wearing a fucking mask? It's Gay Howe. No more mask on Baba Boy's face because they're considering him, they're making fun of him, saying that he's ugly. And Baba Boy is not ugly. Oh, uh, this is Roddy Martin. Oh, uh, Gary, regardless of weather, you may wear the mask or not. I know that it is Gary uh, that is there. Because of his body's dimensions, the little ape-like uh, fashion and the slobber that comes from his big teeth. So therefore, right. don't make them make you wear no mask. You are a gift of life uh, with, uh, you know, beaver-like features. <laughs> There you go. So the Whack Pack weighing in on Baba oh. Booey in the mask. Well, he looks kind of greasy and his breath smells funky. He's an inbred cross between a beaver and a monkey with a yellow stick skin and a teeth turning brown. A monkey face gorilla with his knuckles on the ground. It's Baba Booey Boogie. Bye. All right, Baba Booey Boogie uh, sent in by a listener, called in off the voicemail. Also on our uh, voicemail, uh, Crazy Alice was just going berserk, berserk about... Will peeing in the toilet, not flushing. Oh. And she's, I think, upset with us for making fun of that. And I don't even, you know what? Wait a minute, I don't this understand. Is, you know why you don't understand? You tell me what she's saying. Oh, if you can yeah. decipher what the hell she's screaming about. I've become pretty good at crazy yeah. Alice speak. Let me try. You will not be able to do All it. All right, I'll try. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're defending yourself because you're not the only one that piss in that fucking toilet and I get other guys piss all over too but it gets my kicks I get my kicks off when Robert go in and see the piss she has to flush it down or she throw it in the face buying expensive boats she don't ride three home for one coon punish those rich people we'll punish them cause I go in the public toilet some bitches leave shit in the toilet and piss all over the floor so me as I throw on his goat gay cock sucking faggot ramp you know what really go you suck a dick for a living faggot ramp yeah i said faggot artist faggot okay ramp you a ghost when you barely say faggot bye well mm. i mean i was with her for a while but it just completely disintegrated yeah i don't know she went off the rails yeah she really did hey you know and what's got I mean, you don't know what she was talking about did you? well she said she, she started says, off Will is wrong for doing it, but, but then, then she liked because I had to go in there and see it, and I'm a, a boat, rich person and a boat, boat and I, can't, I can't ride in three houses, and 
and that, and she likes that idea. But then she went off on Ralph, and I don't know why. Now, how did he work his way into there? Oh, Alice is angry with Eric. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Alice, explain your position. Gay Howell, how you doing? All right. Fred. Good morning. Artie. Artie not here. His grandma died. Oh, poor baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm called by Yeah, I am angry at uh, Eric the actor. And I know you're listening. You know, he keeps saying, I'm going to stop calling him to the show 300 fucking times. I just, I'm angry when I have a couple. Okay, now, let me tell you something. This is coming from my heart. You made this little motherfucker life. <laughs> right. So fucking good. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> He was a nobody. It's really true. I'll he take, was alone. You're right. He's now got the JFSC. He's got a radio show. He's got Kendra. He's got all kinds of action going on. All kinds all of that going on because of you. Right. And you know, I, even though I curse you out, how you like a brother to me. Thank you. And I and I and I, I know I I give you tough love because you call me crazy hours when you know I'm angry. Angry. But I don't appreciate nobody slapping you in the face like that. Right. Like a zephyr or. That that thing that believe in those little green men, Riley Martin. Right. Don't two motherfuckers one of the top piece of shit I hate the most when it comes to slapping you in the face. You're a good person. In real life, I don't give a damn what nobody says. you like a saint to me. You gave me a miracle last year that no nigger or gender boy or anyone else would do for me. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Even though I'm a woman and you may not... You know, respect women as much as you respect guys, I have to be honest with you. But I love you. I love you. Thank you. Every actor, kiss my ass as rotten in hell. If you don't want to call back to the show in about six months, you will right. be shit. Yeah, I agree with Alice. All here, of yeah. that stuff will go away, don't you think? Uh, yes. You think of, a lot of eight, over eight million people listen to you, and they love you. And once that little shit stop calling in, he will be real shit. All right. Hey, thank you, Alice. Let me let you go, because I'm going to go back to bed. I'm sleeping. Go ahead. All right, Alice. Love you. Love you. I thank love you very you much. Too, Alice. Alice making a lot of sense this morning, and yet, uh, look, what can well, you do? Well, you know, she also makes sense. I understand what she's saying. You're like her brother, and she can beat you up, but nobody else is going Right. To. That's right. Well, maybe I'm like Eric's brother to him, you know? <laughs> yeah, everybody's thinking of you as a brother. Riley, Eric. Think that's why people beat me up all the time, because they, <laughs> they think I'm their brother? They think of you as a brother. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> Hey, by the way, uh, just while we have Alice on our minds, here is Alice just called in. She was angry about Black History Month. Oh. Nigger month. Those dog skin, buckwheat, ugly creatures speak about the stereotype niggers like old fucking old Jay Simpson, old fucking Malcolm X, and old fucking Rodney King, Michael Jackson. I, I, I despise them all. And they, they're supposed to be the leader of the of the fucking nigger race. All the motherfuckers who go along with O.J. Simpson, that big monkey-ass gorilla cool, they gonna find hell. Cause O.J. Simpson killed those people. He's an evil demon. And he got away with it, but he ain't got away with God. He's gonna fucking find hell with the other cools who run along with those sick white people who got, who, who, who stuff stuck. And when they should look that they killed one of their people. Cause her folk open. They to respond or forward <laughs> <this line. laughs> she uh, had her feelings about black history month and doesn't like it you know she almost sounded like hate man there no uh let's see crazy alice i'm gonna say she's not for barack obama because she doesn't like black people mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say hillary clinton I'm going to say John McCain for... Uh... Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's I'm see. going with Clinton. Yeah, me too. I'm not voting for anybody. Oh, not oh, for a coon, not for a kike. Because I don't believe in politicians. Because they suck over poor people. And not for a coon and not for a kike. Yeah, who's the kike? I think it? Hillary Clinton's a kike. <laughs> oh. and, I, and keep reminding me of 9-11. That's it. Well, that's the, Gary, this isn't a good game if they're not voting for anyone.
<laughs> All right, so anyway, for some reason, Crazy Alice hates your new group. Uh, Why? Pastor, I know you're very busy, but if you have time to call me back, intervene the way I feel about that fucking Robin helping those monkeys over there in Africa when we got starving children over here in this country, just uh, give me a call. Over 400 years ago. Yeah, she, now I know why. Yeah. Robin is raising money for uh, children in Africa. Uh, and uh, he, and Crazy Thus Alice, the animosity. who is black, doesn't like black people because she's been uh, victimized by black people, according to her. Here we go. Go, white men being blamed for the slave, but the real truth: those rich monkeys that live over the diamonds and the beans of dollars, who hire those white people to go in that old poor ass village and bring no fuck those monkeys over here in our country. So you need to know the truth, surely. White men are responsible for slaves, niggas. And Africa responsible for slavery. You better believe it. I'm from I'm from Alabama. Five hundred thousand fucking niggas who have killed their own kind in the South. Well, y'all think that all white people done it? Niggas were killing their people too because they got black blue foot players in the South too. Bye. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, she hates Girls' Night Out and what they stand for. Yes. Well, well you know we, what? We don't stand for anything but raising money for worthy causes. Well, you take that up with Crazy Alice. <laughs> it's a Alice, maybe, here, before the break, I'll tell you what. I'll do a little Crazy Alice for you. She's, she's been little, absent, and now she's back with us. A, a vengeance. Story. What's she upset about? Well, she likes Artie now. That's one Oh, thing. she likes you. Yeah, she, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, she, they she, they mended progress. fences, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Alice. That's what happens when you drop eight hundred dollars on a chick in the Yankee store? <laughs> Last time I uh, was here, she had this vitriolic hatred, venom. <laughs> you know, he, he spent a little money on her, and she changed her mind. <laughs> money will do it all the time. Yeah, let's see if I can't find this. I'm trying to remember what the hell she was yelling about, so I can give you a heads up. Uh, here. Oh, I think this is. Artie's trip. Oh, she. Okay, the first call was she's upset about Artie going to Iraq. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> Hi, Will. This is Alice. I don't know Artie that well in real life, but I just learned to know him from the show. Do you really think Artie want to go? Because I don't think he's really ready to deal with the shit that's going on there in the sand nigger country. So somebody needs to really sit him down, and let him know do he really want to go to this this sand nigger war zone place even though they say it's safe wherever they go to entertain the soldiers but i got a funny feeling artists don't want to go you know the little fat dago devil always used the word nigga on the show but somebody needs to sit down and talk to him about it because i'm a person who don't have nothing to lose so i could go but take care of yourself and just sit down and talk to all about it i think he's stressed out deep down inside about this trip bye-bye what about what Alice says? <laughs> Do you really know what you're in for? No. I, you really she, don't. She's absolutely right. I have no idea what I'm in for. But, you know, what the hell? I, right. I'm committed. The die is cast. I'm going. Is what she... do they tell you about your safety? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, they don't? <laughs> They're vague about it. No, I, I got to have a whole, you know what, I'm having a whole meeting about it, and I'll let you know. But uh, she's right. I have no idea what I'm getting in. This was interesting, too, but I can't remember. She's talking about donating money, but I forget to what. Hi, Will. Uh, I heard the show today, and George the K is coming in next week, so I'll wait till he leaves. But I've got this message for Artie. Artie, don't feel bad. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, Alice is uh, a little, uh, she, she feels, you know, George is uh, very upset with you. About the PSA? Oh, the about, PSA. Yeah, about, oh, you, yeah. about saying the F word, fag. Right. And he's very upset about that. And Alice actually likes the word. Right. And wants you oh, to... Oh, she, she does? Yes. Yeah, listen to this. I got a bunch of shit-pushing faggots. Don't want to take your money. But I got an idea where you can donate the money that you get to those faggots. The Alice Wong got it donation if you want to donate... She says if you, if you want to take your cupcake money, right. donate it to her. Her foundation. <laughs> the money, but you from Jersey. You from the old school. Shit push a faggot cop sucker. Oh boy. <laughs> fucking man oh, eater. Yeah. See? Fuck those queers started. to hell, but that's why they're going in a way. Believe it or not, God don't sell queers in heaven. They go straight to hell and suck Satan. <laughs> so she's one of those people who believes that uh, homosexuality is evil. I'm she's surprised. She now loves Artie and has become homophobic. Yeah. Alice, I I'm, I'm surprised to hear you, uh, you're so anti-gay. Yeah. But oh, there you are. You're on the line. How you doing? 
How you doing, George the King? Uh, well, I'm a little concerned about what I just heard. Yeah, okay. Hi, Fred. Hi, honey. Well, don't blow it off, Alice. Hello, hello. How you doing, sweet thing? Uh, Alice. Hello. Alice. Okay, Artie, I love you. I love you, too, Alice. Okay, okay, get back to George the King, okay? I have to speak to people yes. show respect on the air. You don't really believe... Oh, gay house. You don't really believe that gay people go to hell and have to suck you Satan's... what? Let me, let me set this record... No, I'm sorry. Shit. It's early in the morning. Let me set the record straight. Okay, I have a half-brother who's a homosexual. He was mean to me. He used to fight me, and I used to call him all kind of names because I was I'm angry against homosexuals because of my hair, brother. He was a mean bastard. Well, Alice, Alice, I don't have anything to do with you, George. Alice, uh, well, that's you know, it's not because he's homo homosexual. It's because he treated you badly. And yeah. for you to make these comments about all people, it's like making uh, well, comments me, about all you, black okay. people. George, okay, let me ask you something. Why are you allowed to hear the word nigger on the show a lot and don't get defended? But you get defended when the when he gets offended. I get, I do get offended you know, or defended. Nigger? What? Of course he does. Yeah. I said, do you get offended when you hear the word nigger? Because I certainly do, and I've campaigned against it. Right. And other uh, epithets uh, against other people. Other well, people. Alice, you're the one using the N-word. <laughs> well, I, I've been abused by bad blacks. And then I made a Christian... But there are good blacks, too. All black people didn't treat me bad as all the stereotype jiggable moonyans. You're against well, Obama because he's black, right? Huh? You're against Obama because he's black. I like that handsome motherfucker. I wish he was my... How do you feel about Condoleezza Rice? Uh huh? How do you feel about Condoleezza Rice? Who did? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, I got to move along. Hey, Alice. I do, okay. Well, I was calling you about... Yeah, this is bullshit. I don't... All right, I'm on the rack, I don't hear... Uh, <clears throat> oh, hold a sec. I got a cold a bit. I don't hear... All Alice, I love you, and it's not because you're black or, or anything else. Okay. It's because you obviously are a very outspoken person. Person, I and am. I'm you straight out, I'm straight out poker. And that's right. When I'm, being, when I'm being honest, I'm going to tell you something, Alice. One okay. thing I know about George, yeah. he loves all people, and I he's against hurt. he's against all these racial words except for the word kike. He does not like you. I am passionately against that. You are. I thought yes. you were for that word. I want you to come back, George. When you coming back, I yeah. love you. He'll be well, back. Thank soon. you. I'll thank be you, back Alice. Soon. Back. Well, I don't know yet, because okay. I've got a movie to do and some uh, TV okay. shows to Mr. do. Mr. Busy. Okay, what I'm calling you, if I heard y'all yesterday, y'all thinking about hiring me to take the place of uh, Rowlett Martin? Mm-hmm. Is that true? Well. We're thinking of a test show. Okay, give it a test, but right now, I have to let you guys go, because you're, you're on a tight schedule, but I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, no, I was I'm saying... Planning, I'm, getting plan, I'm planning to move out of this shithole that I'm living in, Artie, <laughs> so I will let you update and let you know when I'm moving, I'll let everybody know when I'm getting out of this shithole, okay? Hey, I'm Alice, glad you made I, it with Alice, Alice, you coming to the show Saturday? You promised me you'd come to my show in L.A. Oh, you know, the where is that located? The Universal Amphitheater. So you, I'm going to be there, too. Oh! <laughs> You're in Los Angeles, are you? That's right. So oh. How are you gonna well, arrange this article? You know my skip, my mind's kind of tight. We gotta get we a get... camera to film you on stage for our TV. Universal yeah. Amphitheater. Okay, will you let me? Uh, uh, how can you? Okay, will I get off? All right, you guys. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you to go on stage. Headache. All right. I got her. Well, I, I like her when she's angry. <laughs> yeah, she was very, uh... She's a little too lovey-dovey. Well, that's dovey. why she calls in. You know, she she can't manufacture that anger. She has to really be angry. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, we are that, uh, George K. supposed to come in this week. I wonder if he's going to bring up or use the word faggot or fag. Well, uh, well, I like to know, do he get upset when, uh, Kike, Gay Howard, used the word nigger? And they go wild. See, that's I, it, angry. She's on a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. Right. Because well, her brother treated her badly. That's right. You, you, you got it right. All right, listen, there's a lot going on. It's been a very busy show. But I do have to take a break. I have to squeeze one in. Come on. Let's be professional, all right, mm -hmm. George? Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> we'll be back, <laughs> right? Sorry. We'll be back right after these words. All right, here is Crazy <laughs> Alice getting upset about Teddy. Here you go. He's, uh, <laughs> I told him not to go. 
All right, let's see. This is uh, Crazy Alice. Hi, Shoot. I don't mean to call back because I know you're busy, but is there a way that you can, you know, catch up with Artie and tell that Alan love him and I want him to come back? And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to because I'm a bitch. I told Gay Alice, stop fucking with Artie that way. She said. She wants to enjoy the food that I eat at the Yankee game. Very emotional. <laughs> Ever since you bought her, like, Yankee yeah. shit stuff, you know? Right. Like, she, the woman just loves you. <laughs> like, you used to have the worst fights with her. Now the, she loves you. The best thing was, you wanted her to, she lives in L.A. Yeah. I wanted her to show, my show in L.A. I wanted yeah. to bring her out to the crowd. And she got mad because Teddy didn't send her a big enough limo. Oh, <laughs> oh stop it. She didn't wow. come. <laughs> Ralph, you're on the air. Go ahead. I, I, I hate her. She's so fucking annoying. Anyway. I love her. Uh, no, you don't. Um, Alice, go ahead. Alice, go ahead. Crazy oh, Alice. Okay. Hello? Yes. Uh oh. Oh, how you doing? All right. Okay, well, I'm going to make it quick and short because I don't want to get the fuck back in bed. Okay, I want to say hello to Fred. Hi, sweetie. Hi, my sweet Artie. Hi. I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Fuck, I saw the show the other day. Yeah, uh, I swear to fucking Christ, I felt like I was in that studio with you, sweet thing. I want to kick the shit out of Teddy, my sucker. That motherfucker <laughs> lied about me was a bigger fucking car. I want to put a bigger fucking knot on his head that day when he fucked me over. So that was a lie. And, uh, uh Gay Howard, I want to get you, uh, I want to set you straight about this shit about you saying I use all for those gifts. That's a goddamn lie. I love Artie. He want him back. I'll give him back to him. <laughs> no, no, that's all I right. got to be honest. I don't know a thing Al said. <laughs> Remember you said that I'm listening, I only, she only likes me because I bought her a bunch of Yankee stuff. She that's true. That's not that's true. true. And she says, I'll, she I'll says give that back. is not true. No, Alice, we used to hate Artie. She, he bought her a couple of Yankees, <laughs> trinkets. You stupid motherfucker. Why are you digging up a dead man from the grave? That's in the past. Well, <laughs> come on, Alice. I mean, let's... Let's she like she came in here that day and she was my friend the whole day and call then it the way it is. But what did I, I, Alice describe what Teddy did do? You were supposed to come to the stand up show and what happened? I went two days, brother, for him to call me. You can have sure I went out and bought some fucking brand new shoes and it took me two days to, uh, to set up my outfit what I wanted to wear. Uh, so Friday came around, I went out there and did some shopping. Then Saturday morning came around, I said, okay, I'm gonna get Teddy up to three o'clock. If you had a Touch me that day, you would have got burned, because I was mad as hell. <laughs> she called and left me two voicemails that day. One, she was she she was just waiting for a call from Teddy. She wanted to go so bad. So Teddy never called to get her. Well, I don't car. think I think there was a window of opportunity there. She for bought her. new shoe, and, and and she bought new shoe, and <laughs> and the window closed, and Teddy hadn't called, and she like didn't your neighbors complain about you were screaming so loud, Alice? <laughs> I got a bad tip. That's why I relate to Artie. I have a very, very bad temper. I don't care really? for God. <laughs> I will cuss you out. Yeah. And don't, and another thing, get out. Don't call all the gifts shit. All you don't buy shit. You don't buy shit, okay? Ah, uh, all I know is it, t it just takes a few trinkets. Fuck, fuck, what the hell? That cop sucker. Fuck him. What do you think? You think I care? Faggot don't like me? You can either love me or you can hate me. I don't give a god. Sounds like you do give a damn. Sounds like you're upset about it. No, no, no. Oh, my faggot. Are you crazy? You know what? You should go back to psychiatry seven days a week. You know that. Sounds she left like you're me, angry. She left me a message yesterday about Robin. Uh, what were you saying? That ugly dress. And you have to call me crazy, Robin? You cried over <laughs> a, a, a twin time? That is nuts. <laughs> well, I... 
<laughs> you might have something there. Okay. Well, well, you might have something. All right, Alice, thank you. Y'all take care. Love take you. care. Love you. And take care of Fred and Artie. All right, Alice. I caught about 30% of what she said. <laughs> I got pretty much all of it. Well, 30%. come on. I mean, uh, there, there was a lot of garbled stuff in there. I, about you, even, Robin. I wasn't sure what Alice was saying. Said, How dare Robin call her crazy when she cried 20 times at, at one thing, at the same thing? Right. I'm back to that. <laughs> crazy Alice called. She was upset because I guess she gets Howard TV and the show where J.D. dances, and you say that J.D. was the best dancer out of us. She thinks Artie was the best oh, dancer. Okay. So she gets all berserk about that. Oh, yeah. J.D., he looked like a buffy feeble. A, a, a toothpick, a skin and toothpick. Uh, I was the best dancer, and then Ronnie, and then when Lisa G brought her little tight, fancy little ass, and that's shaking, and, and Artie was shaking his big dick behind her sweet pussy asshole, and Robin, your fat ass, why you bring your buck ass out there and dance? You can't judge. You're just kissing the ass. J.D. was not dancing. He just looked like he was having a fit. He's <laughs> getting a fever tea, motherfucker. I'm mad at the way he treats Gerald. Best dance was Artie and Ronnie, and sex is Lisa G came in. And why did you bring your monkey ass out and dance? <laughs> <laughs> she and Hate Man have a lot in common. Yeah, those two uh, really busy with that whole monkey thing. Yeah, but uh, I got a voicemail. I, I, I guess Crazy Alice calls Will all the time and leaves voicemail. This is her ranting about Mother's Day. She and I'm a not problem even, with Mother's She day? has a problem with Mother's Day. I thought maybe you'd want to hear this. I will. Have a good Mother's Day. But fuck Mother's Day. A holiday, all holiday can go straight to hell when it comes to me. I lost my mother through alcohol and my father through fucking heart attack. My sister through cancer. I don't give a shit about Mother's Day. I don't give a shit about all the people's pain. I just want to let you know, anytime you want me to come back up there, after I move out of this shithole, I'll be glad to come. But curse those who judge me, I don't care who they are, I want them to feel my pain, live through my life, through my suffering, and she would have liked to be me. A very long time, uh, up to the rest of their life, the evil bitches and bad. But people like you, I love the people like you. Okay, Will, I have to be honest. I, I don't care about what happened to those fucking people got killed in the World Trade Center that day. I was upset because the World Trade Center got bumped down. Bombed down. Yeah, bumped down too. Fuck people. But I do care about motherfuckers like you, Will. I really do. I don't mean to say motherfucker, but I like you a lot. And people like Art and Fred. Okay, bye. She reminds me of that guy Obama used to hang out with, the preacher. Uh, yeah. You know, I have similar think, personality. Do you think Alice is someone's spiritual advisor? Obama! Imagine if that was your spiritual advisor. That, 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 that guy is pretty close. Fuck people! Uh, here's another one from Crazy Alice. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure what she's talking about here. Well, I heard the show today, and I don't really believe you're racist. Everybody get angry once in a while and say things they don't mean, but I'm angry all the time, so I know I mean the things. I say the stereotype, goops, spits, trash, wop, kikes, sand niggers. I mean what I say because they test me more than they would test you. So I don't believe what your boss is gay. He's another Perry Mason. Come out of the closet on the show, gay Howard. Because you leak it out in a way, you don't know want I know that like looks that dick and use women have a dick field, okay? All right, don't renew your contract in this in this turn. Move on. You can't deal with that shit all the time. Take care, Will. Handsome little devil. All right, there is the words of Crazy Alice. She wants to bang Will, man. Yeah, she wants you to come out of the closet. She's all right. She's afraid that you're going to come out after all of this is over. After what's over? You know, your career. You're like, you'll be oh. in retirement and then you'll come out. You mean like Ellen DeGeneres? Well, Ellen has come out. Oh. And she still has a career. She's saying like uh, Perry Mason, nobody ever knew he was... Well, yeah, at like this point I'm not coming working. out. I refuse to come out because uh, I have a very macho image. <laughs> I, I, if I say I'm gay, then I'm in big trouble. But you, you like ratings, too. I think of that course. would really get a lot of attention for the show. For, for, for the first few weeks, and then people would get disgusted, I think, because my audience is so macho. So I cannot admit I'm gay. I have to wait until I retire, as Crazy <laughs> Alice says. And poor Beth, wait till she hears the news. Uh, All this banging I've been doing. Are we going to have like a, 
uh, McGreevy divorce trial with the two of you because yes. you defrauded her by yes. saying you're straight. Yep. And it's all the guys I invite into our bedroom should be tipping her off, but she doesn't seem to be getting it. It's going to devastate her, but it's going to crush me and a bunch of my friends. There you go. There's some t secret tape that was made in my bedroom. <laughs> it's an agreement. I don't care how drunk you were. Now I got a whole wall of tricks here for you. Play my game? Yeah. You want to play? I'll play with you. We'll play higher, too. Oh, these gays seem so mean. You're mine now. So I'll let you go. You are mine. You are mine. You are my possession. Do you give me your order? You don't talk to me. I don't really play chess. I just eat man ass all weekend. That's the code word. Chess means man ass. Yeah, how could you be that into chess? Exactly. Now you've figured it out. Crazy Alice, you're on the air. I can hang up my other phone. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on? Yeah, hi. Okay. Yeah, I'll just call and we'll see how long it's going to take me to get on there. Well, you're on. Okay, shut the fuck up. I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 I just want to uh, uh, talk to you just a few minutes. I want to say hello to everybody. I got on use a call you every day like the other fools do. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. Hello, sweetie. Sweet thing. Artie. Hello, Alice. I'm going to spank the living shit out of you. You scared the fuck out of me when you went over that sand nigga country. Wow. You're a baba booey. <laughs> well, Alice, what can I do for you? I want to uh, let you know that, uh, first of all, I want to let you know that uh, um, I want to come to Richard House. But I don't want to be the only woman there because uh, when your people called me about a week ago to go to Richard Place, I want another woman to go with me, like Miss Black House then, or even Siobhan. I'm not even sure what we're talking about, yeah, but that's fine. Isn't there a whack pack Thanksgiving? A at whack the, pack the, Thanksgiving, the yeah. Like that, the, yeah. You, you didn't hear about that? No, no, no I, I just didn't know what you were talking about. No, I know about that. Yes, you do. We're really yeah. And by the way, Howard TV just fi finished filming the uh, new game show, Beat the Buoy, which is going on. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, a anything I else? I don't want to be on the phone too long. I'm too fucking ill. I just want to just say a few words to you goddamn people. And fat ass Jason, put the picture of me on the page with me got on the T-shirt of the Yankee fan. Now, I keep telling this, put that picture of these darling. You know what I'm talking about. All right, it'll be... F okay, did you see my uh, my last boyfriend? Did uh, 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 Sal show that around? <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm dating a, a, dating a uh, Italian. He looks like Stas. You know him Stas getting hurt? You got a boyfriend? Yeah. And wow. I tell you. Wow, this is new. I thought you were into chicks. Yeah, what do you mean? You're not new. You surprised. <laughs> you think I'm a lesbian like you? No, 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 no. You oh, just okay. haven't dated anybody in a long time. Because I'm, I'm fucked up in here. I'm like, oh, you get into a relationship, <laughs> and then you have these demons inside of you. It doesn't work out. I broke up with him for a while, and we got back together. Oh. Sounds like you're copying Robin with uh, her dating. No, I don't copy Robin, honey. I just dated a boy. Boy, in the background, six kids, or I just let them get in my pussy. What? Oh. First boy, was white. I'm not copping off Rob. I've always been attracted to white guys. I just made a mistake and married an Oz Pepper uh, because I wanted to get out of the house. So I never did like black guys sexual. Uh -huh. Well, I'm happy you're seeing someone. That's good news. Alice, yeah. thank you for the call. I'm going to let you go. Okay? All right, baby. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. There she is, Alice. Uh. All right, she's just checking in. Letting us know she's around, and I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Alice on the phone. She claims she banged you in the 1980s, and really? she's angry with you. Really? Alice, go ahead. Hello? Yes. What happened what between you? What that nigga Coon said. What? You lying, nigga. Whoa. Damn, Alice is angry. Yeah, why she's is that? still angry. What? You cut the bullshit. All right, what's wrong? You fucking cocksucker. And fuck you, too. Huh? Wow. You back, okay? Damn. Man. She's angry. Yes, she is. That's what she, she wins the Bitter Bitch Award. I hate you, you fucking nigga. Oh. Oh, man. That ain't right. Really? That's, see, that's that's what it sounds like, how when you're sleeping with a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> a white guy sleeping with a black woman. Yeah, that's... <laughs> nigga blowing you, motherfucker. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Fuck what that nigga coon said. Man, she's out of line. Oh, she's out of line. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anything. What? Shut the fuck up, you fucking animal. All right, I'll be quiet. Go ahead. I hate you.
you. I hate you. I hate you. And I really mean it. I hate you. I hate you, you fucking cocksucker. I hate you. Wow. I hate you, bastard. I, I hate you, fucking cocksucking bitch. I hate you. Man, I wish I could find out what you, what you did to yeah, her. what did you do? She sounded like one of those girls you, you gave a golden shower and you promised a lot of shit to. And she wants to take the golden shower. Did Luke pee on you? <laughs> did you pee? Did Luke pee on you? <laughs> all right, thank you, Alice. Oh my goodness! All right. <laughs> and she, you know what? She started the conversation with the same thing she ended it with. Yeah, the same yeah, exact yeah. cadence. That's we right. came right back around. Well, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> By the way, crazy Alice is so anti-black and anti-Robin, and uh, she left you up vicious message Ooh. where Hate Man was blasting me. She blasted you, Robin. <laughs> Yo, this is Alice. I'm listening to the retape of the show. This big bald here gorilla face, uh, chipmunk looking, nasty looking black, rusty colored, funk ass porch market Robin coming down on the Yankees. Well, let me tell you something, Foley. <laughs> you ain't pretty. You never was pretty. You are ugly black ink and white milk. You will never see a black person in this country. If it do. I hope he lose. You understand? Obama not gonna win. And too many people hate black people. Even I hate myself. Fuck you, Bowley. It's your ugly black ass. Okay, the Yankees didn't win this year. But the every day that goes up must come down. Fuck the mess. Fuck them too. And fuck you too, Bowley. Black sample, slave color, ugly ass, bitch ass, stinking smelling. You ain't never been pretty, Robin. You eat pussy. This is a hardcore. Janky fan. Wow. <laughs> well, I need her. So, with she got so worked up. She said, "Janky." Wow. Uh, so she doesn't think a you're good looking. She doesn't like that you're black, and she doesn't like that you're anti-Yankees. Yes. And 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 she says you're bald. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get all uptight. Crazy Alice, you're on the air in Los Angeles. I said I hadn't spoken to Crazy Alice in a long time. Oh. People have been asking me where she oh. was. Hi, Gay Howard. Crazy Alice just kind of got, she sold out to Artie because Artie bought her some baseball right. paraphernalia. I, well, she liked me before that. <laughs> mm, yeah, not really. <laughs> she didn't. Let's be honest. And, you know, so I said, Alice calls up now. It's one big love fest. She used to be crazy and angry and hated people, I hated black so people. You hate Obama, right? What? What, what gay now? You hate Obama. You know, no, I don't hate. I hate myself for being mixed with black blood. I made it clear. Did you get some of my email from, e uh, read some of my email from Sam? Did you, uh, you didn't vote for Obama, right? I didn't vote for neither one because I'm not into politics. It's, it's a lot of bullshit. Yeah, but I know that a lot of the black people that you dislike. Well, to be honest <laughs> with you, I said, holy shit. I dreamed about, I really dreamed about, uh, it was gonna be a black president when I was 15 years old. I had a dream, 15 years old, that it was gonna be a black president one day. I don't know why I had my mouth a fucking jiggaboo in the first place when I, I'm attracted to fucking white guy. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, it's gotta be a good day for you because, you know, I know you always view yourself as ugly and this and that because you're black and. No, I always consider myself ugly, period. I used to be a very pretty woman. It doesn't change the way I feel about being black. It doesn't change the way I feel about You gotta feel a little better today. Fucking niggas who are fucked up my life. I used to wear a nigga a lot on the show anyway, like you wanna be black real bad. I don't know why, but always based on black people go fucking around the head. Hello, friend. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Fred, you speak up. Good morning. All right, sweet thing. Are you? Hey, what's up, Al? See, I just said... Uh, you know, Gay How is fucking 100% wrong. I told you, Artie, if you want the gift back, take him back. I don't. He when wants him back. When I, I first, when I first saw you on the show, I said, God damn, I said, that motherfucker is fine. And I still feel the same way about you today, Oh, You're a, you a nice-looking young man. And don't think about dying. You want to twist you? You want to be in my body, not be in your See, you she, she likes Artie too, too much now. You, you have a ring wall to die, so stop saying you want to die. Yeah, she gives already right? pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> shut, up, shut up, black bitch. I wasn't talking to you. She hates Robin. Robin hates me. No, I don't hate you. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, 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 you pronounce words wrong, too. If I, if I, what is it with Robin that everyone wants you to shut the fuck up? Uh, 
Gay how? If I said every word you two say, I'd be a very rich woman. Y'all not right here, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alice. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. you. Well, if you have a good day and say, fuck you, now you're on a black man for real this time. Take care. Maybe I should have a... Uh, uh, okay, first of all, this is uh, Crazy Alice called and trashes Robin. Oh. Then Hate Man trashes me. Says I'm very Jewy for... Uh, Doing what? Because what I, I, I found out the price of the guitar that Paul McCartney gave <sighs> me, and I was upset that it wasn't Paul's personal guitar. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Jewy. Um, <laughs> like it's not like it's not fascinating to find that out. And then he corrected me, told me that Beyonce is really Beyonce, not Beyonce. <laughs> well, like I didn't know that. Set with the way you pronounce yeah. Beyonce. But like I don't know that. Right. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's a comedy show. Uh, all right. So here's Crazy Alice. She's pissed off at you. Forget why she's mad at you. Uh, you said something about. I don't know. She just gets she gets set off by you. Really good. It goes nuts. Let's hear I will. I just want to say something straight. Just because we got a fucking black president running the country, and I live in a cool neighborhood, let's yeah. change the way I feel about being mixed with black blood with Italian, because I love being Italian more than black. Well, you call that Lesma Robin? Fuck you, big giant head gorilla looking ugly motherfucker. I don't care how much weight you try to lose and keep doing it. You still ugly, black, and bald head. Rewind picking at you, jiggaboo, ugly, gorilla, coon, Lesma Robin, because you try to mock me about the way I say, I leave a dirt cheek. So fucking what? <laughs> at least I got white blood in me. You black on black. Uh, hey, yeah. where, where's the Indian there? Of all white and Jewish people, let me tell you something. It doesn't change the way I feel about being black. I don't give a fuck about a coon running the country and living in a coon neighborhood, okay? I leave a dirt cheek. Lesbian pussy eating Robin. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then hate man uh, bless. <laughs> then, of course, you get your assorted crazy Alice calls. Here she is going off on Robin yet again. Hi, Baba Boo. I'm proud of you. You don't let nobody fuck around with you. That gay cock sucking kike, faggot, howl, and that big ugly nigger coon behind that glass. And then, let me tell you something about that coon. You tell that fucking coon go straight to hell, and when she's down there, tell her suck on a fucking dead daddy dick. You think I like living in a cool neighborhood? She don't know what she's talking about with her crazy black ass. She got money. You have to live where you can afford or where the government lets you live, you fucking jiggaboo, fucking ugly ass, lame, bald head, nigger, cool, fucking robin. Go suck on a pussy and die, bitch. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> you took it. I got a hit with a little shrapnel, but, but you really oh, took it. The main hit. blast was for me. Yeah. I usually get it pretty good, but I got off light on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a filthy kike or whatever the hell I am. Uh, wow. I bet that new neighborhood's loving her. <laughs> <laughs> Fitting right in. She went, hey, let's talk to Crazy Alice. You're on the wrap-up show. Hi, Alice. No, oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello? Hey Alice. hey, Alice, how you doing? Yeah, it's too late. The monkey left the studio like I want to talk to her ass. And you motherfuckers be kissing that bitch ass like she's a queen. She's shit from hell. I don't give a damn she's here. I just want to let her know that she don't know a goddamn thing about me. I do not like staying in a moving out of fucking neighborhood because I'm poor. And talking about Bruce Springsteen, he's a very good singer, very good looking. Who well, else? I know about her banana book. I seen the monkey when she had a book out. I, I threw, uh, uh, the salmon didn't see me do it, but I threw her book on the floor and stomped on it. I don't want to hear her boy. And somebody kicking somebody ass, she won't fight me. Go for it, bitch. I'm not afraid. I can pick up a 27 inch car to me by myself. You think I can't fight a big stack of big foot on the hand hand go on in that studio? Fuck you, Leslie Robin. I don't give a damn. You don't like me no more. Cause niggas like you, the reason why my life is ruined. I'm not gonna call in and kiss nobody, ass. Fuck that bitch. And my order, order may have his cuff, but he can be no more than no other black ass. Got a dead man's ass in your house. This is price. I'm crazy. <laughs> Motherfuck her to hell and fuck that bitch. And it's all about you guys. Cause I don't really like women that much anyway, especially lesbians who like to eat pussy all the time. Oh, oh, I got a boy in that gym. And I hate when y'all use that poor blue eyed brother for that black monkey. You know she's a lesbian. Stop fucking around with me and, and stop fooling the fucking audience.
Alice, thank you for your call. It's a great way to wrap up the wrap-up show. Is there, is there anybody in here that wouldn't pay top dollar to see Robin and Alice fight in Atlantic City? Who's your money on? Alice. She's got rage. I don't know. Robin sounded awfully fierce today. Benji? I was just so impressed she had the Vincent Price act. Yeah, that was right. good. Alice is great. All right, we got a... Crazy Alice was mad. She doesn't like that I call her crazy, so she calls me Gay Howard. Mm -hmm. But she does stick up for me against Benji. Because Benji was late and disrespectful. <laughs> and then she throws in some you know, jabs at you, but... For no good reason. Yeah, she hates you. I know. You know, I think Hate Man is back, Robin, because he probably has a decent lawyer. Yeah, I think he was away. <laughs> yeah. I will. This is Ang Rouse. I hit the other date that fucking Moon Cricket lesbian Robin. I told it's not a real fucking lady. That bitch. Moon Cricket lesbian. Yes. Robin. That's horrible. She's convinced you're gay. And, uh, no, she just hates me because I think she wants my life. And she's right. convinced you're a Moon Cricket. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I told you you were Indian. No. <laughs> American Indian. Cut just like a nigger in his neighborhood. She's not a lady, and she likes pussy, too. And Benji, when this show is over, who the fuck will know how your fat ass, fucking disrespecting gay how said, fuck him? No, fuck you! What the hell you wouldn't be in that fucking studio with your fat ass looking like a big, fish eyed freak? Don't you disrespect Gay Howard like that again? And Gay Howard, in the uh, Hitler days, Jews were niggers too. They still all the day those who hate Jews, okay? They are niggers too. The Jews. Bye-bye. Well, she's right about that. Mm. I mean, Benji. No. But she actually is correct that I don't think Jews consider themselves to be on anybody's favorite top ten list. <laughs> Well, it's it's Jackson. He had, some, he had some horribly <laughs> vicious, racist things to say about I'm Michael sure. Jackson. Here you go. And a lot of people have written me and said, "Don't play Hate Man anymore. He's a shithead." But uh, I don't know. I, I'm strangely uh, into this because I, I mean, I don't know. The guy's so insanely vicious. It's interesting to me. I'm so the honored that he likes me. Pop is dead. Well, his real name is the King of Little Boy Cock. So you're not king of pop, king, king of, little, of boy. little boy cock. King of little boy cock. He was a child molesting fucking cocksucker. Why did he give that fucking one kid $27 million not to take him to court? Get the fuck out of here. And how come it was always little boys having sleepovers? That fucking spotted fucking monkey fucking bleach bastard fucking cocksucking fucking bald-headed fucking wig-wearing hump. Motherfucking nigga fuck. And then his father has the, the fucking press conference with Al Sharpton. And the old man's fucking promoting a new record label. And then Jermaine and the old man, they want to have, like, fucking Neverland, uh, like the new Graceland. Well, the rest of the family says, no, Michael never wanted to go back there because it wasn't a home. After he got caught with his fucking nigga cock in a kid's asshole. <laughs> fucking nigga bastards. What a bunch of shit. Those jerkos should have been shot at that fucking memorial. The only thing sad about it was for the kids and the little girl who made the speech, his daughter. It was really not his daughter. And that Debbie Rose, not the mother, because she was just a fucking surrogate. And the fucking dermatologist gave the sperm and someone else was an egg donor. Well, there you go. Everything is racist with this guy. Yes. Everything. Everything. Everything gets reduced it's to a shame. the N-word or kikes or I don't know. Who else does he like? He hates everyone. And not even in an artistic way. Just no. really just the bad context. As Mo would say, it's more slapstick. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's Hate Man on Artie. Hey, you know, Artie, you couldn't make it two weeks of vacation without getting fucking arrested. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Were you under the influence of fucking drugs or alcohol? Or was it both? <laughs> you are a fucking maniac, you know what I mean? You are a fucking crazy guinea fucking maniac. <laughs> Out there just probably doing blasts and fucking maybe a spike in your fucking arm and a fucking bottle of Jack Daniels. That's my boy, Artie. Make me proud, motherfucker. One day, me and you got to get together. We'll do a fucking couple of blasts together. 
know what I'm saying? Honey boy, you're the fucking king of the best! Oh, you fucking kitty t-shirt wearing fucking whiskey drinking motherfucking drug addict cocksucker! You are the fucking best motherfucker! See, like you. Obsessed. Make me proud, baby boy. Make Keep me going, proud. Baby. Keep going. Uh -huh. <laughs> First of all, I thought, you know, and I, I was ashamed of this. I thought maybe he's Italian, but then he comes out with the, you guinea fuck. Yeah, I don't know. What <laughs> I, don't know I don't know what's going on. Uh, Crazy Alice called in, too, you know, on our answering machine while we were gone for two weeks. And she has it in for me. It has it in for Robin, like Fred, that kind of thing. You know, same old, same she, old. She's just lonely, now. This is Angry Alice. First of all, gay, uh, cop sucking Howard, you a freak. You have to know the judge, Michael. You look like a big bear with a big beak and a chicken ball popping out of your throat every time you, every time you talk and jump up and down. And then you, and you look in the mirror, you may break it. So, you got a lot of nerves down that bald head left my rock. Get tired of getting up early in the morning at four o'clock in look at your homosexual ass anyway. Short dick for that, that's making my cop with him my friend. They don't like what you put in the studio. Quit now. $200 million. Quit now, you big freak. She seems to be Why angry. Why is she upset? She seems wow. to be upset with me for my Michael Jackson comments and uh, you for, I, I couldn't even understand the part about you. <laughs> she, she was mumbling, she was yelling so hard yeah. into the phone that it literally couldn't understand which, why she was angry with right. you. Right, I, I don't think know what I did. We had Dick in the studio and she said Robin doesn't like Dick. What is she talking about? She, and, and then uh, Fred's even disgusted by that Dick. Like, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's not my fault that the dicks are in the studio. You know what?